honest to God, I'm not saying I would say it, but I probably could say the <laughs> if I was on stage with a mic, you know? If, I, if my bit was Kramer. good enough, I think I would. Stop. What's up, guys? I am Thomas Dopaziola, whatever you want to call me. Welcome back to the Dope As Usual podcast. I am here with my co-host, Marty O'Neill. What's up, guys? Guys, what's up? We're getting straight into it, all right? Uh, the, the Nice Guy Clock is probably non-existent today. We're just going to get right into it. Fan favorite, the most, I think you're here the most out of anybody's ever been here. You guys ask every five seconds. This is the next Goblin episode. What's up, dude? Thanks for having me back, Thank man. you. Uh, In different, the new spot. Different. Very different, very, very different. different. I'm so used to like smoking a joint, spending 30 minutes chilling before, but I know. this time, wow, we're really like, we're you know, clear we got though. Marty at the table now. This different, is crazy. Huh? So much yeah. better this time. Yeah, way. I know. We can, it's like a, we can have a conversation without Marty screaming from the corner of the yeah. room. Yeah. <laughs> getting some echo, right? Or having to look around. <laughs> having to take the headphones off. What was that? Hope the cameras are running. <laughs> Keep yeah, all the cameras the are rolling. Yeah. Yeah. It's dope, dude. It, yeah, and what? Uh, this is, I think your fourth? Either fourth or fifth. Fourth I mean, fifth. we've done a we've yeah. done a lot. You're officially yeah. we said it. You're officially our Joey Diaz. You're Let's officially go. the guy that can come Let's back forever, go. and we're always gonna have fun, and no one's gonna go again. No, it's just a good. Time. It's just fun. It's a bro. good time. It's, it's I fun. mean, we have like absolutely nothing that you know is really planned for our episodes. It just kind of happens, you know. Except and the I think first that makes one, for, I think. Yes, because that's when we first met. Though. Yes, yes. Yeah. And then every episode after that just kind of devolved into like a sesh, you know, which I think is the best <laughs> yeah. best way to do it, you know. Truly. So, thanks for having me back. I'm thanks for coming for this back. One, thanks for brightening up the studio. Yeah, you guys look like you came from a funeral, I and know. I'm out here looking like I came from. A I pride look like parade, I came from. Dude, a... like... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear what you said to the end. You, the colors are great. I look like Thank I, you. I hung out with OG today. Yeah, there, there. <laughs> like I chilled and went to the store. I actually got this shirt from his store. Go to Cholo Land, he told me, and it Cholo wasn't Land. called Cholo Land. It was a store. I was okay. wondering. He when just called okay. it Cholo Land. Remember, I told yeah. you. I, was, I bought this for Cholo Talk, Land to be a fire store name, though, bro. He should on. get like a little side hustle. Cholo.com. Cholo huh? You sell everything the highest. Tell him to get on that before this episode drops, so someone doesn't take that. Actually, domain. I'll take it yeah. from GoDaddy before this episode drops. Let's give it to OG because that's actually so, smart. Perfect. It costs eight dollars. Perfect. Yeah, Cholo Land, dude. Uh, I have so many little domains just parked up. I have like, do you probably mean? like twenty websites just parked if I ever want to do because something. you just what? I, I have a bunch of like variants of Only Gas. Uh, oh I have, yeah, yeah. I have. Um, I was gonna do a hot sauce line at one point, but that fell through because the sauces sucked. So <laughs> I, uh, I have like gobsauce.com oh, and like stuff God. like that. So yeah, dude, I, I love just copping random domains. It's fun. It's There's like a lot of people that did that on Instagram. They're early Instagram yes, people bro. took names and sold them. So back when I was younger, that's one of the things that I used to do to make money. I used to like buy OG like usernames and flip them. My old Snapchat name was just the word become. And I sold that to some kid for like, I think like 300, 400 bucks. But I used to like flip OG names when I was younger. What? How do you stumble upon just becoming C B D? Well, so I never... I never like created the accounts myself. They were always like bots would get oh. on that on new apps super quick. Um, I remember there was like a couple smaller like niche apps back in the day that I tried to get OG names on. Like um, there was one called Byte. There was one called Photo. Um, With an F. You, you remember Photo? With an F? Uh, no, it, it was Photo, but like three H's. And then, uh... you would take these little like GIFs. It was a series of photos. And then like it would create a GIF out of it, almost like a little montage. It was a cool app. But I like farmed a bunch of OGs on that. Never worth any money because the app sucked. Um, but I used to like buy just random usernames that were worth like 50 bucks, you know, 60 bucks and like sell them to kids. But I never made like that much money off it. It was something that like, you know, I would just do every now and then. In the weed world, it, it's so, it's such a real thing. I know yes, somebody that bro. sold CBD for like 40K. Yeah. Oh, I bet, dude. Yeah. The guy who has my Twitch name right now wants 10 bands for it. 10 now? Yeah. It was eight, and then yeah, I hit him up so again. Liar. Yeah, so it was, it was eight. So I hit him up again to like renegotiate. I was like, I'll let it settle on him, you know, because he wanted me to pay all cash up front. I'm no. like, no shot, no. like whatever. No. Um, but also he's like one of those real like old heads who like he's not a stoner. He's not even really like an internet guy. Like he just took the he's he just the has the name, yeah. and he's some guy who streams like Dungeons and Dragons. You know, like real oh, we old talked guy. about this. That's yeah. right. Yeah, just some guy who streams just some random like Dungeons and Dragons or Warhammer or something like that. 
And uh, he, I just don't think he cares about the money. You know, like he's like, nah, bro. I'd rather have the name. I'm Goblin. So I'm just, you know, <laughs> as terrible as it is to say, I'm waiting for him to croak. You know, like I'm, I'm waiting for him to do his thing. In 32 so years, Goblin's going to snatch that name. My up. 50th birthday gift is Twitch TV slash Goblin. What's up, guys? Pause this episode to give you guys some breaking news. Manscaped is now selling beard products. That's right, guys. They've gone from the waist to the face to help you get rid of your bulky trimmers. So brand new for Manscaped is the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Keep yourself groomed. Keep yourself looking good. Turn some heads with the new Beard Pro Kit. They've now created the best tools, like I said, from the waist to the face for you to make sure that you look good, you're groomed at all times. So right now, take advantage of our deal, guys. That's manscaped.com. Use our code Y-O-L-A. That's YOLA. 20% off plus free shipping. This Beard Hedger Pro Kit's about to change your life. It's a waterproof cordless trimmer with a rotary wheel that gives you 20 different lengths in one. So no more messy drawers full of accessories and add-ons for your clippers. Plus, the trimmer comes with a titanium-coated T-blade that is smooth on your face and tough on hair. Satisfaction comes one stroke at a time. The Pro Kit also comes with four dermatologist-tested formulations for post-trim care. Now listen up, guys. All your hair is different, believe it or not. So Manscaped's coming with the beard, shampoo, and conditioner. Specially designed to moisturize, reduce ingrown hairs, and replenish your natural oils to keep that beard looking fresh. Manscaped. Remember about the post-trim care I was talking about. Manscaped also offers beard oil to keep you from going dry after you're shaving. As if it couldn't get any better, Manscaped's coming with the beard bomb. It's moisturizing and shaping that beard using fresh eucalyptus, rosemary, and lavender essential oils. But yeah, guys, it does get better. The Beard Pro Kit also comes with three free gifts. Beard brush, a comb, and scissors to make sure you're looking like Hook at the end of this. You want to look tidy. You want to look like Hook? You want to look like Justin Boyd? Use 20% off with code YOLA. Manscaped.com. Free shipping, 20% off. Manscaped.com slash YOLA. Remember, that's 20% off when you go to Manscaped and use our code at checkout. That's code YOLA. 20% off plus free shipping. It does not get better than that. The Manscaped Beard Hedger Pro Kit is the premier solution to face grooming. Have a dope ass day. You know? Oh, sorry. Twi it's, yeah, I didn't know Twitch. the TV was in there. Yeah, it's, yeah, I need to get on there. So more. if a guy dies, you can take their Twitch name? Um, well, it's not like officially in the policy, but yeah, if an account's inactive for a long time, <laughs> if you're dead, generally can take your you, name. you can hit them up and be like, Hey, here's who I am. You know, I would like to have this name. It's inactive. And Twitter especially will do that. Twitter will free it up. Um, YouTube, if you have an at you want, I think sometimes we'll do it. If like a random, you know, no post account has it, uh, but it depends on the platform. But you could try it. You know, it does work sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's like written in the policy anywhere. Like, yeah, this dude's dead. You can just yoink his name. Right? You know? Could you imagine <laughs> if you murder this man? I mean, it's yours. That would be crazy, dude. People with OG names would actually be getting smoked. Like, I, that, that would sounds be like a, terrifying. That sounds like horrible. That sounds like some Black Mirror. Yo, I would... Mm. Yeah, I would do some like crazy shit for the Instagram goblin, bro. I would, I would do some crazy shit. <laughs> if that was in the rules, I'd call some shooters, bro. Uh, I'd call some shooters. Here, bro. I lit, dude, I want on. that G-O-B. Imagine, you, you, imagine you just had Yola. Ooh. Like just Yola is your Instagram. And you're like up in the comments. You know, some guy like, uh, let's say you're talking shit with some guy. He can't even insult you. Like your name is Yola on Instagram, you know? It's like you already won the argument. Yeah. You don't even have to respond anymore, you know? <laughs> oh, I like the way you broke that down. Like, I will shoot somebody for my name. No. Yeah. Like, no. like well, because once you get the name. I'll just add that underscore. Yeah. But like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. There's something that hits different about that OG name. No, you know? I get like, it. Super even true. still today, when I see someone with like an OG username in my comments, I'm like, damn, you know, like I go check Respect. out the profile. Damn. Like, how'd you get that? Uh -huh. You know? How do you feel about, we talked about this a little bit last episode, but how you're going to be able to like sign up for like premium Instagram now and get all those get the badge and all that stuff so i on one side of me i'm pissed off about it and i don't like it because i feel like there's a lot of people that should be verified that shouldn't have to pay for it that should be able to get those features right yes mm. yes 100 percent. i'm kicked off um live. but also on the other hand i'm glad that they're finally offering some sort of solution because it was obvious that they were never going to fix the verification system yes. on Instagram. Mm -hmm. It's like they they were never going to change their mind about weed influencers or anything like that. If you are not like a mega celebrity on Instagram with at least five mil, they don't care about you, you know, mm -hmm. at all. So um, on one hand, I'm glad it's there and I will be buying it for sure. Uh, I have it on Twitter and it's great, you know, like it. 
but it's also like, dude, it's like pay to win social media. You know, yeah. mm-hmm. like literally on Twitter, I've noticed since I bought my, the the blue verification, my tweets have been doing like way better, dude. Like people go, oh, it must. Be, I have oh, yes, oh, I have blue. broken. So prior to buying my check mark, my record for like most likes on a tweet was like two and a half thousand, three thousand, or something like that. Uh, I've never had any like viral tweets or anything, you know. But after I bought my check mark, I've gotten like six tweets with more than that. Like oh, not wow. even trying to get like, you know, bangers or anything. People stop tweets. and go, what's this blue check mark yes, say? Yes, it catches your attention. Yeah. But I'm also worried that it's going to devalue the check mark a lot. 100%. Because I feel like it should be a paid feature, but also like how do you separate a check mark from someone who actually is a celebrity or, you know, an, an actor or someone who is a professional and should be verified from just like the average dude, mm-hmm, you know? For sure. I think the like eight different colors of check marks they got on Twitter are stupid. They make no sense. Yeah. Is that an action right now? Or is that just still like the concept? color thing? Yeah. yeah. So companies and like brands have a yellow check mark. And then mm-hmm. if you buy one, you have a blue and then politicians have like gray, but there's, there's more than. Is that what it meant? The gray? Yes. The gray is like I politician or official or something like government official. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I personally, I think it's, it's kind of stupid but it's better than not having anything. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. There should be like a cut and dry solution to it, especially with Instagram. Yes. Like, Instagram needs it. Otherwise back. you just got like scammers out there just kind of like claiming Bro, to be Instagram. The telegram scammers can buy check marks. We were just talking about this. The telegram plugs like, dude, I had a fake hash house account follow me the other day. I sent that over to John. I had a, a bunch of like, I've had so many fake accounts of people I follow like hitting me up recently. Oh, and imagine dang. if those guys got check marks. They're going to wreak havoc, dude, Mm. because, like, people don't understand. Like, people, like, don't get that if someone – what I always tell the – like, what I always say to my viewers is if someone is openly advertising that they will ship you something, they're they're not going to. They're not going to. Every real page, every real – even people who will actually ship you something, they're always going to have nothing for sale or, like, don't contact me about sales or anything like that. They will never promote it. They will never advertise it. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't understand that, you know? People are stupid. Yes, yes. It's the same guy buying the Gucci bag on the thing, like, eight? 18 yes. bucks for this bag? What it's a real, steal, right? bro. It's real, right? What it's a It's the same steal. thing, dude. Some people are just stupid. That's really what it comes down to. I'm sorry, but I just posted, when's the first time you heard of my content? And somebody DM me, first time I ever heard about you is when you scammed me for 3K off of such and such kick app. And 20, like, <laughs> bro, are you serious? You kept following me? After you thought I yeah, scammed that's you. Co- that's a real loyalty, though. He was like, well, right. he judged well, me, but the content's fine. <laughs> I'm just going to say, I've never, ever, ever accepted money, never did anything, never shipped nothing. When I was a kid, I tried to ship pack one time, and as I'm doing it, I go, this is stupid and not worth my time. Yeah, I've never shipped a pack I was in my a life, I kid, bro. bro, and I was like, you know what? This is dumb. I didn't even ship it. I got it yeah, packed I, up, and I, the I guy wouldn't... just stopped answering. I go, what am I doing? This I already dumb. tweak when the packs are coming in, dude. I don't know how hard I would tweak when they're going out. <laughs> like, I had a homie, long time ago, I had a homie lose a, a box in the mail. Oh. About 100 pounds. Mm. Oh. Box. Oh, I meant by box, like a box. Like he lost the box in the mail. Oh. And I remember for like four days, he's like pale, <laughs> like a vampire, just like I'd be tweaking, hoping. dude. I mean, even if it's a rack of pack, it still lost 100K. Right? Bro, not even the cash value. I'd be worried my door's getting kicked. Three days later, it showed up. <laughs> no way. Don't don't get that box. Yeah. Don't pick that box no, up. No, no. Not even to his house. At the post office and said, hey, your box is here. Please come grab it. Oh, that's how they get that's you, That's how they bro. get you. As soon as you back. walk in, I'm like, oh, So it's back over. in the day, I had a P.O. box, and I gave out the address to viewers to get mail, but I was also getting packs like to my P.O. box. Oh, yeah, um, I remember this. Yeah, I think we talked about it a little bit. So that's how they got me. That's why they, didn't ever, they never like actually got me. I closed the P.O. box after that. But they called me one day when I was waiting on my next like drop off and they told me, they were like, hey, we have a package for you. Just come sign for it at the desk. And they've never done that before. So I never called them back. They left me a voicemail and that's how I knew it was weird. I was like, bro, nobody at the post office cares enough to leave a exactly. voicemail. Exactly. They do like, they hate their job. The last they don't they care enough. Them. Yes, yeah. they don't care enough. So whoever just called me is getting paid enough to give a shit. And that's scary. It's you know? super scary. <laughs> that is dude, scary. You know what's something dude. scarier than that? My homie just let me know in California, in certain leases, read your lease. Mm-hmm. The people, if you have gardeners or anybody that does maintenance on your house, they, ha- I don't know what the program was called, but my homie Tyler just told me about it because the guy snitched, basically snitched on himself. 
gardeners and houseworkers get paid $250 if they see anything in your windows or in your backyard that could break your lease. So my homie said that there's this policy that you have a 48-hour notice to get out because you get bongs and plants, right? Automatically voided. 48 hours? 48 hours. And, and it's them? in your, it's $250 to any worker that reports like somebody informant? and get, uh, snitching for 200 but to be hours. fair though, to be fair though, wouldn't you make more than that 250 from just continuing to do the job if they live there? A hundred? No, no, they don't care because they're doing 30 yards a day. Like, true, oh, I just got true. And I guess it's the landlord probably times. paying them, so it doesn't matter who the tenant is. A hundred percent. It's already like a... So the guy said, my homie Tyler's like, I talked to the dude when I was moving out. And he like, I'm like, yo, what's up, bro? What's going on? He's like, I got to be honest, bro. This is what they do. This is your landlord. Well, and he snitched on him. Like, so your landlord's been pay trying to pay me to get you out of here. Anything he could do because he knows you smoke. Even though it's illegal here. But in the policy, he's like, in the very bottom of your contract, it says anything stated by a worker can get you kicked out. No lawyer. No fighting it. Mm. Your lease. Like I've never heard them. of that. That's I never heard of that either. Yeah, I've never seen that it's, in my life. I'm like, yeah, right, fool. And then my homie showed me in his contract. I'm like, wow, you're not lying. So read your contracts. So I is that just that. his landlord? Is that he said like it's a, a common? It's a California thing that it's a, a landlord law or law for homeowners. So they have the right to do they that. They have the right to do that. Wow. If it's in your contract. So that's just something pretty that's wild. That's crazy. I thought that was wild. So when you move out here. Yeah, dude. Thank you for telling yeah, me that. No, for you move out, anybody bro. moving out. Because I have a home. Justin's moving out. I'm moving out in here. like six months, man. Are you really? <laughs> yeah. My So my lease ends in September, early September. Out. Yeah, I'm out. So. What are you thinking? Um, I don't know. I don't really know. I definitely don't want to be like, you know, very close to the city or anything. I'm thinking. After we get off, I will show you exactly where you need to move. Okay. Okay, show me. I was thinking I like exactly where you need to go. Thinking like Van Nuys or something like that. Van Nuys, where I got my other warehouse. It's really nice. Yeah, certain that's parts a, are nice. Yes, yeah. I was so I was riding over there the other day because um, Attila is like kind of in that area, and we were driving through. It's like one road is nice, and then the next one over is like Tweaker HQ, hood, not Hood Hood. Yes, not yes, yes. Foods. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe there's a tweaker outside. It's like, though. oh, that's a beautiful Target. Oh, crack then. You know. <laughs> exactly. It's like it's like a. Uh, it's America. Yes, yes. <laughs> it, Except for <laughs> where he lives. Everywhere, everything in his in the whole town is so nice, and it looks like the beginning Bert. of Kindergarten Cop when everything's real <laughs> good still. Like except for the mall scene. Sorry, you never seen that movie. Nope. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we started speaking, there was a discovery. Yes. There, we we discovered something, Marty. Yes, mm -hmm. you have never seen the movie Friday. No, I haven't. We had because no, when we said Friday, you go what? Oh, you mean so the when we say the words Ice Cube, what comes to mind first? Well, I know who Ice Cube is, no, what, but Ice Cube, like, um, you're nine had, years younger than me, right? What was that movie he did? Um, oh my God, it was Are oh, We There Yet or something uh, like that? Yes, that's oh. what comes to mind for me, bro. Oh, that was my generation. Just, oh, yes, man. so that's the Ice Cube movie that comes to mind for me. I'm, it's it's Are We There Yet? We had you know? NWA Ice Cube. No, and yeah, we got Are We that. There Yet Ice Cube. Yeah, we got Are We There Yet Ice Cube. So we didn't get the whole NWA, all the the fun Ice Cube. We mm -hmm. got the Oh, how know. odd. That's a that's a crazy perspective. Yeah, yeah, when I think of Ice Cube, I think like PG movie, you know? Wow. Yeah. What do you think yeah. of, what do you think of Ice T? I don't Delicious I don't beverage. think I can name anything <laughs> that Ice T is in, honestly. Okay. Cuz he's yeah. a cop and everything now, but he used to be cop killer. Really? It's like The Rock. That's literally the Rock's what he was. only been an yes, actor for yes. your generation, right? Yeah, well, The, so the Rock. Rock the wrestler then? I would still do. Oh, okay, I, okay. I, I still watch WWE and play the games when I was a kid. Oh, okay. They never so mind. I remember like, um, well, I think Hulk Hogan was a bit before my time, but we still like idolized him because he was in all the games and all the ads and stuff. Um, but I remember like when John Cena was getting big. I've never and that was, seen him on the WWE. Really? I, I stopped right before he Really? I Dude, he was him back in the day. He was <laughs> wore that shorts. guy. Uh, the shorts. Dude, shorts. dude uh, he would come in there. He'd have the cargo shorts sagging. Yeah. He'd walk in pissed as hell what like What was his this. character? Was he cool? Was he a good guy? He what was, was he? like, like a dad, right? He was kind of like, I mean. He looked like he was like trying to be a rapper most yeah, of the Yeah, he was like, he was kind of like old Mark Wahlberg. Oh, you know? oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> what I said. <laughs> And a white dude, you know, pulls up the jeans. He's in shape, wraps. Yeah. Mark Wahlberg. Yes. 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 That's pretty much who John Cena was going so for. So when you think Mark Wahlberg, you think of Marky Mark. Well, kind of, but because of what I know about him now. But like when I was younger and everything, I just thought of him as like, you know, that normal action movie guy and stuff like that. Um, Man, that's such a crazy perspective. So you never seen Friday, next Friday, Friday nope, after next? Nope. 
No, oh, it's going to be so fun for you. Yeah, I'm, such good. Uh, movies, show me dude. these movies. I'm you're ready. Gonna go wait. That's what that's from. You're that's gassing. That's from? You're gassing these movies up to me, man. Oh, I mean, oh, I'm there's, ready, there's, bro. There's, there's, there's no show, need yeah. to gas this. Uh, I need Friday to see Ice so Cube's sick. real acting ability because I mean, he's great. Are we movie. there yet? Is not. That's not really not a, a good, good display example. of ability. <laughs> I wonder what kind of check he got cut for that. Oh God, at that point. Let's let's guess. Can 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 we Google that? How much did Ice Cube make on Are We There Yet? I'm gonna say twelve mil. I feel like more. I'm saying because part one probably wasn't that big. Part well, two, actually, probably yeah, it probably wasn't that crazy of a budget either. They're just in a car. I've never um, seen it. I just remember the girl. She has braces and she's and she's yelling at him. That's yeah, they're just driving around in a car. It's not like that's a the whole movie. the whole movie. Pretty. It's literally just a road trip. Like they're just. It's just the kid. The the movie is called "Are We There Yet?" Because the punchline is the kids just keep oh going. Are we there God, yet? Oh my God! I've never watched it. Yeah, and he's like, he's like, no, like you know, it's no. just him trying to deal with, <laughs> deal with the kids. And he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> that pretty much is the premise uh, of the movie, dude. Okay. It's not that special. <laughs> and he's like, no. <laughs> so I don't, who knows? Maybe I mean, you, maybe you were damn. high. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> damn. Let me say, how much did he make? I there's I feel like there's no way he made more than ten percent of the movie's earnings though. I don't know. He was what up there. Up. I don't know. What is an actor's average cut? Like what? Like what percentage of a movie's revenue will an actor? That's a great question. Because don't they know. pay them before the movie drops, or do they get royalties? Leonardo DiCaprio took a pay cut to take royalties on Titanic. Mm. <laughs> smart play. I've, I've heard of stories like Full's that. Before, crushing. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's crushing, bro. I think yeah, uh, smart Sasha play. Sloan did the same thing for Rockies, but they were his movies. So it's like you win anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should actor, make a movie. Director. It's gonna happen. Let's make a movie. That's dude. my one goal in life. I have one cult classic movie that I can always go, that's us. Mm -hmm. I need my clerks one. I have to. It's going to happen eventually. The Weed Tuber movie is going to change the game. I don't even know if it's going to be a Weed Tuber. Like, they have to play those characters in it. I think it's more of like. Well, no, I, I, I'm not saying it's going to be about, but like, I'm oh, saying, then yes, like, yes, 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 yes. You know? That's what I'm. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Real quick, before we continue, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I know you guys are going to wear your watch. I showed you earlier. For everyone out there, yes, Marty's Rolex is shining. Can I see yours? Yes. Dope. Thank you. Damn, that's I nice. Actually, that's I scratched the uh, I scratched the date glass a little bit on accident. Oh. So you can't really you see fall? the date. No, I don't know what happened to it, bro. I scratched that's it. That's even Dude, worse. I got a call from the AD the other day, and they told me they had a watch for me at 5 p.m. So I call them the very next morning at 10 a.m. when they open. Watch is gone. Of course it's gone. I couldn't believe One it. One minute later, it's gone. I, I was shocked they even called me, honestly. What is it, AD? Damn, Authorized, Authorized dealer. dealer. Oh, um, it's impossible gotcha. to ever get a watch from a real Rolex retailer because they always have wait lists. And yep. if they call you, it's going to be a watch that's not super they great. Don't, they don't want um, on at all. So I didn't realize the most that. Exclusive, that was so damn hard to get that one. Which, mm -hmm. which model is that? So uh, they just they just always oh yeah good luck yeah blues. good luck finding that right now so they oh. they called me i wanted a uh i told them anything with a green face but it's Those gotta be sick. if it's a date just it has to be a 41 because i want bigger this is a 36, yeah, 36. Yeah. and i i feel like it's a little too small so it still looks sick. yeah I, gold don't get me though. wrong i love it and i'm not saying it's like too small but i want bigger you know after yeah. wearing it for a while i want bigger yeah. um and they had a 41 green face date just but i never got to see it so I don't know like what it actually looked like They're or awesome. anything. Just get it. Yeah, I know. My homie just Tone just got the green one with the diamond on it or whatever. Mm -hmm. I, oh, by the way, I'm wearing Space Jam watch. I got when I was 11 years old. That thing is sick. That's the sickest watch at the table. Oh, I brought it just so I can go. Hey, Rolex is <laughs> sick, but look at this Bugs Bunny spinning the ball. Let's go. I got this when I was 11. It has a Monstars band. I will never wear it again. The amount of I stuff you have watches. from your childhood, like just oh, yeah, in great condition, shit. is ridiculous. I have I like none of my childhood belongs oh, to. Oh, I have every. And actually, I got to be honest, I might just take it off right now. It's like, it's not, I hate this. What's I uncomfortable about do, it? I, what if I slam my hand? Ow! <laughs> well, I mean, that would hurt with any watch. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I'll break it. Damn, it hurt. Well, yeah, true, true. I, I'm very animated when I speak. So I feel like, hey, I broke my Rolex on my new rig and now they're both fucked. Dude, <laughs> you know, like that's my my luck. You know what I just remembered this is completely off topic. Go. So you remember earlier how I was telling you how my dad is racist? Okay, because we said my dad's movie. The buff. Friday, yeah. Surprised I never seen Friday. Yes. Well, the reason I hadn't seen Friday because my dad he had a massive collection of movies. Like only so Steven Seagal. Before uh. I was born, my mom used to tell me he had like an entire room in the apartment that was just filled with movies. And one day, a bunch like people broke into the apartment and stole his movie collection, and it was like probably the most devastating moment of his life, you know? Um, 
so he always growing up, he like rebuilt it with like more stuff. So when I was a kid, the entire living room, bro, like the every wall in the living room was just movies, floor to ceiling, like crazy. And I wouldn't say hoarder. There was like gamer style. Semi, have everything. Yes. Like oh. semi organized, you know, like he probably didn't know where everything was, but also it didn't look like it was disorganized. So he's a racist. Well, my but whole loves movies. So my whole dad's side of the family is like super racist. Like that's, that's just kind of how they are. Uh, and growing up, I didn't really realize it at first until I got older and started picking up on like the things they were saying and being like, oh, that's racist. My grandpa used to complain that the grocery store in the neighborhood was too dark. And I thought he meant the lights, but he didn't mean the lights. So <laughs> they were like real, like old school racist. But what I was going to say, I just remembered. So my uncle on my dad's side of the family was an inventor and he was super successful. What did he invent? He made, um, That's he true. invented, you can Google him actually. He's on like Wikipedia and stuff. He invented, um, like Blackberry, like the SMS technology. He developed that and, um, Verizon and like a bunch of other companies kind of stole the tech from him when he had the patent. So he sued them and died during the lawsuit. And his wife was a woman. She was, um, I think, I don't remember what she was Latina. I don't remember. I don't know where she was from. But she had like a very thick accent. And my dad's side of the family was always terrible to her, like super awful. So her husband, my uncle, died during the lawsuit. They settled the lawsuit for 600 million, <gasps> right? Out of that, they got 200 million, right? She takes the money, writes my entire dad's side of the family a check for $10,001. So they have to pay tax and never <laughs> speak to them again. <laughs> never speaks to them again. No one knows where she is. No one knows what she's up to, but she's filthy fucking rich. And I haven't spoken to my anyone on my dad's side of the family in like six years. But the last time that I was like, it, it was every family gathering since that happened. They talk about it. Every time they're like, where's our money? Like, we should be in a mansion right now. That's you know? so <laughs> like, awesome that the races got shit on yes, the end. bro. They got shit. I remember sitting there and I was like, you guys really asked for it. You know? Wow. Like, I don't know what they really expected. The woman that they were awful to the entire time she knew them. Do you have a lighter? I, can use I was actually. Show, does anybody have another lighter? Work. We're fucked up right now. Oh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> <That's the> <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be honest. I lost it in the light. And went, I got it. <laughs> and it cracked me in the forehead. He went. <laughs> I saw it coming, but I thought no, you his, had it. His, still, like, I thought I had it. <laughs> I lost it in the light. And went. Got it. Yeah, when you held your hand up, I because I, I lost it, it in you, the light. You shouldn't have moved the hand because you would have deflected. I, I pulled like, a sandlot, it. and Dennis Leary <laughs> is gonna get me some frozen meat. I loved your face when you did that. <laughs> he went. <laughs> Okay. That's the first time I've been hit in the, in the face of the lighter. Incredible. And it was, oh, it's yellow. Oh. Nice. Makes sense why I lost it in the Peace light. It's yellow. <laughs> Pulled the Sandlot reference out of all that. Dude, it God. cracked me right. <laughs> it was perfect. Sorry. Your, your dad's racist. Yeah, horribly racist and now still broke because <laughs> they got screwed. I love it. Dude, dude. It's, it's crazy. I couldn't even imagine winning that much money, bro. 600 million total, 200 million of it was theirs. How did he die? Um, I think it was like uh, lung cancer. He he was a big cigarette smoker, uh, like big time. But he um he uh with dude, a I, Mexican wife. Yes, yes. Hmm. Did he realize he was going to be getting this money that he was not going to see? Um. Well, I don't think so. This lawsuit was like ongoing for a while. I remember, and I was I was young as hell when he died. I was like eleven or twelve, but I just remember them always like talking about it but i didn't really understand it at the time um it wasn't until i i got older and looked up his wikipedia page and i was like oh, oh shit. shit damn my uncle was that guy damn he was him you know <laughs> um but i think like towards the end we just all like like once he actually like was in the hospital with lung cancer and everyone knew like he probably wasn't gonna make it um i think everyone in the family just assumed that the money was going to be dispersed among all of us haters you know? like, hoping he doesn't yes. pull through and shit well it wasn't even that because if he was alive he would have given like the rest of the family money got you but he was like the odd one out like he wasn't like the rest of my dad's side of the family like he wasn't racist you know like he wasn't like them you obviously know? not he, he was a chill ass dude he had a sick ass train set bro the craziest up. bro he had a whole thing that he built himself this like custom like uh it was in his basement his whole basement it was like maybe a thousand square feet 
just one big train set with like multiple trains going out and you could control them with these remotes and they had like stops in the buildings had lights you could turn on and off and Your stuff. I could those see you doing that show. Oh, 100%. <laughs> there was one guy in Merced that had, you could see it through his window and you could see the train go around his house. I, I, as a kid, I've always I wanted it. one of those, but I don't have the patience. My grandma got me one as a kid. I was like, put the track together. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. Don't yeah, think I'll I drive do it, it though. Yeah, I'll, I'll press a button and watch it, but. No. That's the most old school, like, let me get away from my wife, you know, extended time. I'm going to build exactly. a little town Dude, down in the basement. If you being think creep, train me, sets Get some cool. trains. Have you ever been to the Science and Industry Museum in Chicago? No. If you like train sets, they have the craziest one I've ever seen, where it's literally a one, like, one-to-one -one replica of Chicago. Like, the whole city. And it's, like, exact, too. Like, all the streets, all the buildings. Wow. Like, it's exact. Um, and I don't, it's like super big i don't know exactly how big it is but what did you say did you say you ever seen beetlejuice <laughs> yes I <have>. another <laughs> deep reference God, well, I was just, yeah. all i kept thinking was the yeah. way he's like the, i was trying to man. process what you said for a second i was like wait what the fuck? <laughs> sorry my bad i just hit click <laughs> i got hit in the head i have trauma <laughs> <laughs> but um no go to the go to the science and industry museum in chicago and look at the train set someday it's incredible, dude. I promise if I ever go, I will leave a sack of weed in one of the carts and oh, somebody can grab yes, it. yes, bro. Yes, Hold bro. me to it if I um, ever go. We should do like a, hit me up when you come out. We'll do like a Chicago stash and dash and we'll oh, stash it at like yeah. all the museums. We'll do one. So Chicago's museum lineup is raw, dude. I went to what? Which one? You oh, went to, sorry. I was in New York. Oh, My bad. Bro, me. I'm telling you the Chicago museum game is no joke. Well, yeah. Like uh, look at Ferris Bueller. Yeah, a bunch of them. Yeah, man. dude, it's all the knowledge I have, and they're Chicago. all good, bro. Like, I don't even like learning, bro. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to walk in. I don't even like learning. Like, I, I don't want to walk in the museum because usually museums are boring, dude. Like, you know, <laughs> it's all information and there's no fun. But like, the Chicago museums do it right. They make uh, the information <laughs> fun. You know, like that's an interesting. Take. They'll, they'll tell you about some history and they'll be like, yeah, here's this dead guy here's this dead warrior right here and then they'll have us like actual corpse with the sword he had whereas like you know no, you'll go to other I'd be oh i'd be if happy I was as a hell warrior, no, what if i was a warrior and you just put me in the middle of a place where kids are just tapping on my glass well, where the I'd hell are the rest of his homies in the ground with in the honor, dirt respect. exactly ah, so at least trees. so at least he is immortalized right he's like mm. repping his set forever they repping will always know about his group of warriors if and if it weren't for him they just be dirt. Hold on, I got a, I got a, I got a question. That's true. Mm -hmm. So we just unearthed a tombstone in my backyard. What? <laughs> I want to get your take on this. We're putting my pool in, and we uncover a tombstone. Yeah, right. any lights flickering? No, no activity. Hold on, hold on. Flick the but, light or the other way. Do now mean? do it that way. Should I go? On? What? Uh, which, concerning the uh, supernatural. I do. <laughs> if you were to have. If you were to buy a house, put your mm -hmm. life savings into it. You mm -hmm. go to do the backyard, you start digging it up and stuff, and you find that it's a burial ground and that there's caskets in there from before the house was built. Oh, there's caskets like in there? Not in my house, but this is now a hypothetical okay, question okay. I'm getting okay. to. So you find caskets in your backyard. Mm -hmm. Now you got to take them all out. Your backyard's a cemetery. Is that enough to get you to move out of the house? But I already spent my money and, and yes. I'm already... Hold on. And hung up your TVs. That's a big thing. I'm desecrating that, bro. I'm <laughs> fucking that grave up. If I already oh. furnished it and everything, we putting a pool in. Oh, yeah. okay. you don't give a shit. You're not thinking twice about well, it. Well, so here's the thing. Um, can I see a lighter, by the way? We're, we're, we're uh, oh, okay. surprised I didn't realize. Okay. so many joints and I, uh, my lighter's in the car. Yeah, I've been talking for so long. My joints just went out. So. I do. <laughs> it's okay. So you're going to stay? <laughs> yeah, I can't revive it. Um... Well, like, dude, you can't sell the house in good conscience and, and not tell the next person. So you'd have to tell the next person, which really That's true. Then the value You'll goes do down. Buy so some you golf just, bitches. So you just true like yo you guys all want to live in a house together give me all your money where are the rich goth bitches who are Everywhere. ready to buy a home out here in Everywhere. la yeah the goth bitches in illinois smoke math dude it's not like here they smoke like, meth here too, but they got money. Well, yeah, sure, <laughs> sure. You know, they smoke meth responsibly here, not in Illinois. <laughs> they smoke your lifestyle. Yeah. They <laughs> if you got meth a lifestyle, you're not doing good. If you're recreationally smoking meth, yeah. you're in shape. Yeah, recreational <laughs> anything is fine. Everything's good, good in moderation. You know what they say. <laughs> you know? Everything's good in moderation. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
I've never tried meth. Dude, I got a comment the other day from some guy and he was like, you know, I really hate the way Goblin, uh, oh, I really hate the way Goblin talks down about meth. Like, it's not that bad. What? You should try it. And I'm like, bro, I, I replied to him and I was just like, what do you want me to do? Suggest it? Like, you want me to- What do you want me to do? Suggest to it? Like, yeah, you guys should honestly pack a bowl, pack a little pookie or something. Like, I was in uh, Houston and somebody came up and goes, yo, tell Goblin to do cocaine again. I go, no, he's healthy. He's been like doing better with his life. He goes, tell him to sacrifice, bro. <laughs> That's what he said. Tell bro, him it's sac- like the guy it's who, on the video. No, the guy was, who came up to it me was at even um, more extreme than that. You're like, he's more. probably not going to die now. And he's like, but just sometimes you got to make a sacrifice. sacrifice, bro. We need those videos. That's what he said. It's like, yo, you're True. crazy, True. bro. Insane. It, it's kind of like the guy who came up to me at your meetup with the bag of blow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's Don't all right. That. I do. Yeah, no. Oh my God, no! Oh, I'm not that. doing that coke. I'm not doing that coke. He walks up to me and he's like, "I've been up for a couple days." That's <laughs> he's like, meth. He's like, "I took That's meth, sir." Well, he was telling me he took like three Adderalls that morning and then started doing blow. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, "Bro, your heart's probably dumping mm. right now, dude." Like, is your little inner coke demon just going crazy, or is that kind of gone now? Kind of gone. I don't really. I mean, I all my <coughs> friends back home are still cokeheads like most of my friends still do that every day you know so when we get together like i'll be sitting there taking dabs off the rig and we'll have the little smoke set up and then they'll just be chopping lines on the same table you know but yeah no i say yeah thing. I see my homies are chopping yeah. lines i go oh that looks ooh. oh yeah I, 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 you no, know, thank don't, you. don't get me wrong if they got a nice rock Take like i'll dab. scope it out but i'll, ch- oh, um, I'll smell shit all day oh ooh, i can't no i'm not gonna smell it i can't i can't get Once that I get that high piercing smell like, oh and then i'm done i don't want to do it at all dude i'm not gonna lie in vegas me and uh me and eric we were uh walking back to the room it was like 3 a.m and i was wasted and we stopped in the bathroom to take a piss and i'm walking out and this guy goes past me and he goes yeah yo and i was really tempted dude i was i I scoped it but i didn't what was that what's in there Uh, oh yeah i don't know i scoped it though i scoped Mm -hmm. it 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 looked if it doesn't have a shine like snow in the movies, I don't want it. See, yes, but also I feel like there's ways to fake the shine too. No, it's my homies. They always get the the bricks, and I always see them break it, and I'm like, it looks see, like when when girls break rocks, that's they start why conversating. I, that's that how was I a feel big it. contributing oh factor to why I stopped because my guy who would do that is in jail. And the guy who my my homies are buying from now is like some random dude. I trust who, like, no one. Yeah, trust no drugs. I yeah, smoke weed. Yep. Yep. Too many people die of overdoses. Smoke weed, take shrooms. Shit. I got Chill a kid out. in high school. There's been two kids in this past month that have died. And Isn't that crazy, bro? Going to funerals. Really? Yeah. In the past month? Freshman. What have they OD'd off? I assume like fent. Press pills. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. God knows. They what probably it didn't even is. know they were taking fent, too. That's no. the fuck part. That's crazy, dude. Imagine your 13 year old self right now. Ready? Now there's fentanyl introduced. Bro, you be, you I, be when I was younger, yeah, I would have died. You like, died when, I, when I when I was Me younger too. and I was popping pills, yeah, I would have died, hundred percent. But I was fortunate enough to be in the generation right before fentanyl was big. Like fentanyl existed back. That's in, like, what I'm saying. 2015, 2016, but it was not common. Nope. People were cutting pills with bullshit. Like it wasn't it wasn't shit that was going to get you high. They were putting in pills. You know, the biggest cut you had to worry about was buying flats because that was probably going to be meth. You know, but like you didn't have to worry about vent or anything no one knew what that was you know i was a kid i could always i could smell and go oh that's cut how long till you started testing it all the time oh i didn't start testing anything until i was like 21 (sighs) yeah rolling the dice yeah shooting every time but i don't know i um i was stupid enough for a long time to trust my plugs blindly Mm -hmm. you know just be like oh that's my plug (laughs) he's alive (laughs) i saw you post something on amazon about getting on adderall on Amazon? Oh, yeah, that yeah. Thing? That was fake. Yeah, it was just Oh, a, it's a fake Yeah, thing? it's just, yeah, someone sent me that, and I was like, yeah, that's funny. I'm going to just tweet it, you know? Um, and a bunch of people were in my replies, bean in. They were like, bean in. <laughs> Bro, so I uh, I tried to get my Adderall script back, and I got denied. Well, like, we've seen your videos, sir. Yeah, well, so I've been going to the same doctor for my Adderall for, like, 10 years, at least, right? And I go in this time, and apparently now it's a problem that I smoke weed and take it. But it never was before, and they've known I've always smoked. I was taking hard drugs back in the day, and they were still giving me that script, you know? Mm-hmm. So, like, they they were trying to give me... And I, I think there's a rumor going around that there's an Adderall shortage right now. I don't know how accurate that is, 
Um, I think doctors are just trying to like not prescribe it as much anymore because it's meth, you know? Yeah. Um, but I was trying to get it back because it really actually works for me. Like I do actually have ADHD and I need that. When so, you say it's meth, like it's, I'm not even straight joking. Straight upper. It, it is one chemical change away from meth, like one molecule change away from meth. So what like, does it feel like when it kicks in? You're geeked. It makes me, um, <laughs> you're geeked. So it, I feel like people who don't need it feel it differently for sure. For me, I'm just super alert. I'm almost like tunnel vision where if I'm like, let's say I'm talking and like writing something down, you know, I'm going to be locked in staring at each key I'm typing. I'm going to be typing double my normal speed, probably going to be cold sweating. You know, I'm going to be like very uncomfortable. But I'm going to be efficient, you know, I'm going to get, but you're not enjoying yourself. Done. Oh no, it's not fun. But for me, it's not, I have a lot of friends who would disagree with that, but I think the difference there is they never needed it for its actual medical use. Whereas mm -hmm. like that helps for me. Um, but also like I have gotten geeked off it, but I have to do a lot more than like my script. I was prescribed a stupid amount of Adderall. I had, um, so I was prescribed 70 milligrams a day. Uh, 30 milligram extended in the morning. Then I would get home from school and they were giving me the script and I was like 13, bro. I was geeky. So they're like, you're oh, on this all bro, day now. Yes, dude. So I would take it a 30 milligram XR in the morning. Then I would go home and take a 20 instant. And then like three hours later, I'd pop another 20 instant. And that was my script every day. So I was getting like 90 pills a month. Oof. Um, and it, after a while, like I would just give them to my friends. I wouldn't even charge exactly. them. Like, I used to bring them. So at my school, I, I went to like a pretty decently nice high school and we had a, a little weight room in there, you know? And for gym class in junior year, they would let us go to the weight room. So me and my friends would go snort Adderall in the locker room and go like fucking try to lift as fast as we could before the Adderall wore off. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fun. Hello, yeah. Bob. Oh, it's fun. Bro. As a Don't kid. Get me wrong. As a kid, that sounds great. I got to be honest. But not anymore. As an adult, no. No. Got shit to do. Yeah, I'll live sober. I'll live sober. I like getting high as I possibly can and getting and then lifting. So you go in there and say, it's, it's so hard fun. for me to pay attention as a kid. And they say, we're going to get you on this 24-7 for the rest well, of your life. They, um, Adderall wasn't the first like medication I got. I, I had tried other stuff, but it didn't really work. Um, Adderall was the first one that I was prescribed that actually worked. So after I got it, I just like... For a long time, never really stopped the script. I had it for probably like five years straight. And then I finally, after I dropped out of high school, stopped taking it pretty soon after. Because I was like, well, you know, I don't need it. But I was still getting my script just to like hoard them, you know? Because mm -hmm. I was like, well, people people Self. want these. Yeah, yeah. People want them. Dude, finals time? Oh my, you know how much a 30XR goes for at finals, bro? Oh, easy, like 15 a pop minimum, dude. 15 a pop minimum. So you're keeping yourself alive, just selling the shit you don't even want but, anymore. The only way I'm getting 15 to pop is from, um, I, somehow I managed to sneak my way into getting placed in a, like, AP class, an honors class in high school. It, uh, it was AP government. And, <laughs> dude, awful. whack class. Awful class. That was Let's learn about more politicians. You remember uh, when I told you that story about the chick I accidentally sent that dick pic to? That was AP government. Yeah, <laughs> AP government. Those kids were all geekers, dude, because they had to do real homework. <laughs> so I always did everything so naturally. I was like, you need this. No, I don't. You need that. No. You need knee braces when you lift. Do I? Do I really? So when I was thinking about it, like, I had AP. I was in the mm -hmm. gifted and talented education classes. Remember that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I was in all the... Well, what happened, the story is... In the 70s and 80s, uh, I guess you could beat the shit out of your student and like it was fine. Yeah. You smack your fucking, fucking student. Dude. So there was a lady named Miss Morning. Mm -hmm. She's like 6'2 black lady from the South. Oh, she's very she's like. She's going to pack you up. She's like very. <laughs> shit down. She'd probably still Sorry fuck you up, honestly. <laughs> she was so. I know you. Oh, well, when you watch Friday, you ever see mm -hmm. Sanford and Son? Esther. She looked like Esther from Sanford and Son. <laughs> the lady, half dead motherfucker from the beginning of Friday. Uh -huh. That's Esther. Yeah, yeah. She looked like her. Her name is Miss Morning. I went to fourth grade. Uh, her son was my f Aunt Pepper's friend. And then it turns out they were at a bar and he punched my Aunt Pepper in the face and then got jumped by a bunch of guys. Mm. That's all I knew about going into this, okay? Okay. So I go to school and I'm like, all right, Miss Morning, I'm polite. I'm very respectful. She loved me. But she went off on some kids. And I was like, is she going to hit them? I went home, told my mom who my teacher was, and my mom's face like went white. Like, who did you say? Turns out she used to beat the shit out of my mom in class. 
Damn. In the 70s and 80s when my mom was a kid because my mom was a dick. Mm -hmm. So I guess she used to beat the shit out of my mom in class when you were allowed to hit him with rulers still. My mom went the next, only proactive thing she ever did for my schooling. She went the <laughs> next morning and was like, you're getting out of the class. And they told him, you're not getting out of the class unless you want to move schools. That's where he's going to be. And they test him again, put him in a different school. And they tested me and go, your kid's so fucking smart. You're right. You got to get him out of this class. And that's how I got into the stupid gate program mm. with all the oh. smart kids with tons of fucking homework. Yeah, then you really have to work, bro. I, I always hated it. It's so ass. I hated it. And like a year or two later, Malcolm in the Middle came out. And I'm like, that's how I feel. I was just a regular kid. And now I'm with all the smart kids. I fucking hated that's it. That's some dude. witness protection type shit. It, I felt like this looking through the fence like, oh, your recess is a different mind. Fuck. <laughs> I hated it. So the smart kid class, the AP kids. Mm -hmm. Fuck all that shit. Yeah, fuck those classes, but some of the kids in there are chill, and they buy a lot of Addy. They're geekers. <laughs> so in ninth back. grade, I, I convinced everybody to let me out. They oh, gave yeah. me AP English and government. I went, there's no way in hell I'm reading a book by next week. And I told them, hey, you can kick me out of the class, or I'm just going to get an F. And they let me out of all my AP classes. Never had to go back. Let's go. Yeah. W. Yeah, same with my Spanish. Spanish teacher. She got so pissed at me, she let me out of the class. Dude, I failed Spanish like four times, bro. I still only know like maybe five words. Like, if even, you know? Bro, come on. I should know. Yeah. You're... My family? My family you never should taught know. me. My family never taught me. They're <laughs> fucks. It's their <laughs> fault. Fuck. Their fault. But I took Spanish. And, uh, and then I moved to Oregon, and they had different curriculums. So my Spanish was already like marked off for my 10th grade year. So when I went back, I never had to take Spanish. Oh shit, dude, That's it's it's nice. so bad. I I really need to learn it because Emily's it's, parents dude. only speak Spanish. Like they don't speak English. Like her is dad, she Puerto Rican, um, Costa Rican and Cuban. Hmm. Her dad is Cuban. Her uh, mom is Costa Rican. But they're both. Neither of them were born in America. They're both like from those places. Uh, so um, Cuban makes they, more sense now. Yeah. So um, her dad speaks more English than her mom. Her dad, like I can talk to. Her mom literally doesn't know what I'm saying. So like. I also have like very little, I've, I've started to pick up on some, you know, phrases and stuff, but like, I also rarely have any idea what she's saying. So she just like, she's one of those like kind of angry moms where like, she won't yell at me. She's yelling at her. But she's yelling you. at everyone. And I think she's pissed yeah. at, I don't know about what. So I'm sitting there like, mm. fuck dude. Well, my <laughs> like, childhood. I really wish I knew what she was saying. <laughs> like, I, I regret failing Spanish four times. But oh, you went back four times. Spanish one, bro. I took Spanish one four times. <laughs> it was um, seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, tenth grade. I took Spanish and I failed it every single time. Lack of trying? So seventh grade, yeah, I didn't try. Eighth grade, um, I was like dating some chick in the class and she would let me cheat off her test, but I got caught. Oh. So I got, you know, I failed. Um, ninth grade... I kind of tried, but I just like, <laughs> I just couldn't oh, do it. I get bro. it, bro. The, the different languages just like don't compute. No, I don't know. I get it. Um, I wish I picked it up as a kid. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, me our, too. Our, ta our uh, Spanish class, when you walk in, once you're in the class, you cannot speak English anymore. But day one, how the fuck do I know yeah, what you're saying, Yeah, how would you ever bitch? do that? How do I know what you're fucking saying, Literally. Bitch? Unless you say, Thomas, I don't know that you're talking to me. Yep. That's why I'm here. And I, I made a huge scene in class because every time she would start screaming at me, stop speaking English. And I go, you just spoke English. <laughs> and then she, her face like. <sighs> she get real pissed. I'm day at. three, she said, wait for way after class of me making. I cause, I'm an asshole. When you're an asshole to me, I'm a contra. I'm a, I'm. I feel that. I'm such a little bastard. I feel that. Yeah. I'm like, you're not going to hit me, bitch. So let's continue. <laughs> and then she stayed after class and she's like, what do I got to do to get you out of my classroom? I go, sign the paper I gave you yesterday. She signed it and let me, like Matilda, Matilda mm -hmm. on, the, on her back. We're going to Guam. Let's That's go. how I felt like, yeah, <laughs> sign my shit, bitch, so I can get out of here. And then that was it. I just got gym two times. Oh, let's go. It was sick, bro. It was Fuck awesome. Yeah. We'll just put on shorts and I got to see. Yeah, sick. You Jim's should be able easy. to opt out of that. It's like extra harder work it was just dumb, for no dude. It real. It was dumb. Like, and then I'd, uh, I had a, Pals, you have pals where you're at. What is pals? Pals is the classroom of all the uh, kids that might have Down syndrome or learning disabilities. Oh, okay. And all so that. we we had something like it, but it wasn't like was a it class. That? It was a program, like a after school thing. Oh no, it was a class. I had that class for like eight years straight. It was sick. Damn. Bro. All we do is hang out with these kids. That's like, lit. Yo, what can bro? I do to make your ass laugh today? <laughs> and that was it. I played Blitz with this dude Blanco for like two and a half years straight. Bro, 
It was sick. We just played Blitz all day. That sounds like the best I had to class let him win. ever. What? But I'm like running in circles like, you got me. I'm so good at Blitz. I shouldn't have picked Blitz to play with you. Because you know what I mean? Like I'm trying yeah, to let sure. him win. I'm like, uh-huh. I'll score 30 points first and then I'll let you catch up or something like. Well, I mean, I feel like game. it's good for you to win sometimes too. No, you got sometimes... to teach him how life goes, you know? I mean, no, you gotta... hell no. I'm <laughs> doing this with camera. <laughs> All he did was listen to I got to a PS5, it. by the way. I'm online oh, now. Oh, let's go. I'm going what to battle an NBA. I've been going through this with Cam. UFC. He, I been... refound oh. my NBA skills. So now I got to let him pick my team. He gives me a bunch of 1970s white point guards and I got to go up against <laughs> him with Giannis and LeBron and Durant. Have you been playing career mode on 2K? No. We, oh. I just got the online two days ago. Okay. And I'm figuring it out. I went online on GTA 5 for the first time. It's so sick. It's Bro, it's crazy. sick, but also you're going to get shit on by those high rank dudes for so long because it happens to me still. I don't play it enough and there's these high rank dudes and they got these flying motorcycles with heat seeking yes! missiles, bro. <laughs> Dude, you can go to your bunker in GTA Online and call in an orbital missile strike on someone from oh your house God. and it'll just blow them up like wherever they are. No. And there's nothing you can do about it. Played it costs a million dollars to do. But like your average player, like the, the real grinders have like a bunch of money so that's nothing. But like when you just start... Uh-huh. The mills of shit. Wow. I got. I just got to the bunker. I thought it was so cool. I s- spotted somebody on the map. I came flying down in the car, <laughs> slammed into him in the car. I'm like, oh. <laughs> now I'm flipped over on the car. They take out a sticky bomb. Bro, I'm, je- I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous that you're having your like first GTA yeah. experience. Right it's now. hard, I'm, dude. It yeah, yeah. It's hard playing. I, I I told you I played one time. Well, these kids are, are uh-uh. demons at it now. I They're mean, fucking these assholes. kids have been playing this game, bro, for like almost like well, it's, actually a decade well, now. It's, it's this. Look, at, I'm really good GTA, you know, driving while mm-hmm. shooting out the window, popping fools, hit the helicopter pilot while you're driving. Crazy. Crazy. All that yeah. fun stuff. It doesn't work like that online. Mm-mm. It Mm-mm. is a different game online. Yes. I shot yes. one guy, shot at him. Oh, and he probably camped you. He probably Dude, killed he you got like a helicopter. <laughs> And he kept blowing me up, yep. and I couldn't cross yep. the street. I yep. die, respawn, yep. die. Thirty-five times <laughs> yep. in a row, and I went. Easily. Are you going to give up yet? Never, never give up. No, and you, you had to leave. I bet. Two thousand twenty is the last time I picked that game up online because I'm like, bro, I, I, what do I do? We could all play GTA and squad up. That sounds. And then we can't get killed. Awesome. Mm. That sounds. That's like I want a helicopter. You just squad up and then not mm. get killed. Me. Mm-hmm. But dude, it's, it's hard to like. I don't understand online. I don't understand the world, the RP shit. I don't understand. So like, RP Twitch is shit way that, different. I need to get it. It's almost there. My whole Twitch room is ready to go, except Let's for go. the knowledge of going. <laughs> like I, it's so what? Hard. What do you need to know though? I can help you with. Oh, that. today you tell me what I. Yeah, need to know. yeah. I have the 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 Gato. What's it called? The stream deck. Stream deck. Stream deck. Stream deck. El yes. Gato. Yeah. I have that. It has all my buttons. I don't ready even to have go. that. I, don't I have know. everything done. Everything ready to go. I have mm. a camera. So when you do the RP, uh, like DJ Ghost has his own. What, my understanding it is you have to like buy and own a server space. No, you can just join a server. Okay. No, to so make your own world. I think. Oh, if you want to make your own, then yeah, you got to buy and. But making your own server is like super complicated. You have to hire programmers to like continually update and maintain the server you have to hire um, people to administrate it you know you're not really going to get consistent good people to do that for free Mm -hmm. you know um and it's expensive to run those kind of servers and also like it's really tough to make a good one because to make a good one you can't just use like templates of other people's servers and you know downloaded assets you have to create your own scripts and create your own like systems and and designs for the service you have to hire like I'm lost. I thought it was just GTA, but I just want to press. No, I just want to watch loading no screens and they go run. So if you want to play GTA RP, I'll show you how to do it. But you can't make your own server unless you hire. I know Omar <laughs> has his own mm-hmm. world or whatever. Franklin from GTA, Sean, mm-hmm. uh, he lives right down the street from me now. I didn't oh, know that he's sick. right down the street, that's bro. Fucking sick. So I went to his house the other day and helped him set up his Twitch because he's about to start doing role playing. Let's go. That's Franklin dude. on Grand Theft Auto. Let's go. Which is going to be the coolest ever. Because then you get your, are you like talking into the controller? It's like your voice? Um, I think it's well, headset, when you're right? playing RP, you can't do it on console. You have to do it on PC. Okay. Uh, but you can play with the controller hooked up to your thing. I wouldn't recommend it for RP. You got you to gotta do this stuff to play GTA? <laughs> if, if you want to play GTA RP. You if have you to play use a regu- keyboard? Well, I mean, you don't necessarily have to. You but can use a controller, correct? 
I wouldn't recommend it. So you're saying that if you play Grand Theft Auto online, you're going left, right, left. No, right, if you're up, playing down. online, like the regular no, no, multiplayer, the, the role play. Yeah, the, if you're playing the role play keyboard, if you're playing the regular you online can do that. controller, mm. yeah, mm. you can move with the up, down, yeah. run, jump. No, yeah, oh. W A S D fingers on W A S D. Those are the four okay. keys you need. So if somebody wants to join your RP, that means that they can cut. You can like make yourself, right? That's the idea. If you want to, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you can. Um, so you can make someone that looks mostly like yourself, or you can have someone make you like a custom skin that looks like you, um, which is usually the way to go. But people charge a lot of money for. Like that. you upload your photo and it's you type of thing. Um, they'll make like a three D model that looks like you. Mm. So like you'll send a you know somebody's able to do that kind of stuff like a picture of you, and they'll just make like mm. a build out an actual character there's a push trees good. team i've seen a lot of people send me pictures of me as in their world i mean that's it doesn't a, look just like me but it's like with the yeah. push trees shirt mm -hmm. that's cool yeah that i is get sick. it that's awesome like that oh you can rock your own clothes mm -hmm. run around like yo it, well, yeah the push trees shirt it's but i gotta be honest it's like just being in the real earth mm -hmm. yeah except there's no consequences Bro, <laughs> i think you guys would love rp but yeah mm -hmm. it's it's complicated just it's play like myself a, i just want to play crack it dude <laughs> just sleep on stream. Just make a tweaker. Just make a tweaker character. Could you dude. imagine being twack, but I speak very articulate? I mean, that's my character on there is like, I made Bubba like a Biggs, country right? dude. Yeah, like a hillbilly dude, but he smokes hella meth. Like, I just cook meth, you know, that's and smoke sick, it. Yeah. Though. So that's like, I mean, in, that's, all in real I, life. that's all Online I do. Or, I might I'm be not. in real life, but can't talk about that. Mm -hmm. But Bubba Biggs, <laughs> like, that's why oh. I'm trying to lose weight. You're talking yeah. about RP right now? Yeah, oh, RP. Okay. RP. Um, the character that like, because you have to make your own character and like act as them, you know? So you kind of have to create, you know, almost like a persona mm -hmm. for your, your role play character. Um, whether it's like you or not, my guy's nothing like me. My guy's a country dude who smokes meth, yeah. you know? Um, He's all, I'm from the country. I smoke meth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but. Um, so right now we could all like, I don't, I'm, this is basic elementary uh -huh. level of questions. Like, we could get some fans. We could get us. We could all be on the GTA online world at the same time, trying to kill each other or, or like playing defense against however many people are in that online world. Yes. Yes. How many people are in that? When you spawn into a GTA online, like how many people are there? Didn't so, seem like very many. On regular, like on PlayStation and stuff, usually, I don't know what the exact number is, but I think it's like 20 a lobby or something. Mm. Uh, I think something like that. Ooh. It's a two gram bucket. Dosey dough. Dosey pop? I'm about to throw this in this joint. Oh, we're going to smoke wait, a little donut. Wait, match with the. I know, but this is like something we want to cherish. Or do you want to roll it in here? Bro, Up I have probably 30 pucks of that at home. Never mind. Okay, I'll put it in here. <laughs> do you have a key, sir? Keep, keep, keep speaking. I just want to let you know I'm about to roll a chopper of a chop. I just wanted um, to. To oh, do it while we're on the show. Hotel. You're good. Bro, no housekeeping kept trying to barge into my room this morning. Did you tell so, them no? I had the do not disturb sign on the door and they tried to come in. And I was like, what the fuck? So I, I told him, some lady opened the door. She was like, hello. She was like, get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> I was, so I was laying in bed. I was like sleeping, bro. They woke me up. And then the manager came to my door like 45 minutes later and they were like, you still checking out today? And I was like, what? I don't leave till Thursday, bro. So I was like, what are you talking about? And they're like, well, we had this room marked as vacant. And I'm like, what, what? do you mean, bro? Like, I just checked in yesterday. You know, so she told me to contact the front desk about it. So I called the front desk and I talked to one girl on the phone and she's like, um, yeah, I don't know why they Pardon? said that. It, it, you know, your reservation's until Thursday. Um, and I, I'm like, okay, so I'm all good. And she's like, yeah, you're good to go. And then she hangs up. Then I get a call on my phone. 10 minutes later, I'm just trying to sleep, bro. All this this morning. All this has happened this morning, yes. And then I get a call on the phone 10 minutes later, that, and someone else, some other woman calls me, and she's like, um, are you not, like, checking out today? And I'm like, bro, Still? what are you talking about? And she's like, well, you came to me yesterday and said that you wanted to shorten your reservation to Monday. And I, I was what? like, no, I didn't. I checked in yesterday. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? And then she just kind of paused. And she was just like, oh, there must have been a mistake or bad and just hung up. This is not like a Motel 6. No, bro. I'm at like a nice hotel. I'm at, I'm at a fucking... Um, you can stay where you are because it's going to be later. It's not a Hilton. It's a... Uh, oh, what the fuck is it called? dude? I can pull it up. Just going to shit on them real quick. I am going to shit on them, dude, because it's actually in a concerning area. And I didn't realize that. 
the it's Hampton. It's in a concerning area. <laughs> Bro, tweakers across the street all night long making noise. Oh. Um, the Hampton Inn. Okay, here we go. I'm about to start. Oh. Oh, let's go. So here we go. And continue, continue. So I got a question for you. I pulled one of your tweets here. I'm hoping it has to do with uh, Roz in here. I'm hoping mm-hmm. you can break this down a little Before bit Before you do, I'm going to continue. Mm-hmm. But I was going to do this. I'm like, I was just about to ask Marty, can you ask him something? But I saw an episode of Tyson. Remember, he started rolling or smoking joint. He goes, yo. Ask him some shit. And then he started lighting a joint. Remember I said, one day I'm going to say that to somebody. Ask him some shit. That just felt like chance. that. Here's my chance, all right? This is Goblin on Twitter. I tried to break a certain device by overflowing it with rosin, but it never broke, so I ended up smoking like a gram of rosin in 30 minutes. Yeah. Awesome. So I, yeah, I did a video recently, um, and I had this little like pocket dabber, and I was just trying to break it. You know, I was kind of like just trying to find the excuse to get faded. <laughs> So I was sitting there and I was like, well, how much rosin would I have to cram in there for it to like stop working, you know? So I decided to find that out. So I started with like small dabs and I kept taking progressively bigger ones until literally the whole chamber bottom to top was, I dropped like a fucking, I don't know how much dude, but a huge ass dab. And it was like some of the best rosin I had because I wasn't expecting it to last that long. So I'm sitting there and I took like probably like five dabs out of it i don't remember it was four or five um but they were like it wasn't a very big chamber you know the dab chamber is maybe like that size you know mm-hmm. pretty tiny um but i i just completely filled it up and it just kept chugging until finally at the very end of the video it gave out i ended up smoking like i mean i didn't scale it but it was definitely at least a gram because it was a two gram puck and that shit was ran through like that was damage, bro. Critical condition. <laughs> like it was bad. Oh my god. Can we just? Yeah. Can we just? That looks like artwork. Can we just look at Behold. this hash? Oh I know my. you can't see everybody driving, but is there Helios in there too? Yeah, I, I dumped that in the middle. Oh. So there's at least 1.4, 1.5 hash in there. Let's go. What a great start to the day. Honestly, I woke up recently. Finally, I woke up. <laughs> well, recently. I mean, I woke up earlier than that, but then I went back to sleep. And then well, they kept bugging again. you. Yeah, that was. Fuckers, dude. Now, have you been on your, your fitness shit? Like, you, I um, saw you posting about eating healthy and losing Yeah, weight. so I've been on a diet. I haven't been uh, really, like, working out that much. Um, I'm a lazy fuck still at the end of the day. But um, I have been on a diet, and it's been working pretty well. Nice. Um, I'm not really following any particular, like, you know, diet. I'm not, like, keto or anything. But it's more mm-hmm. so just, like, eating healthier things. A lot of grilled chicken, broccoli, um no fried foods you know not drinking like soda only water stuff like that um and it's been working yeah mm-hmm. i'm down a shirt size already good so shit dude it's been, uh, it's been working i used to work with this really famous nutritionist mike dolce mm-hmm. the dolce diet and he it was almost like disheartening he's like it's like 90 percent diet he's talking about weight loss i'm like yeah. no but what like I'm, i like to exercise once i get into exercising i'm really into it and he's like it's like 95% what See, you See, the eat. important thing is is being able to get enough of your daily like nutrients, but still having a bit of a calorie deficit mm-hmm. when you want to lose weight. Um, so I've been like, dude, I've never read nutrition labels in my goddamn life, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. <laughs> but I've, I've started actually like paying attention to the amount of like sodium and, and trans fats and, you know, different types of sugars and things, you know, because some sugars are good. Mm-hmm. Um, and just learning about stuff like that. But yeah, I've just been... Uh, on the salad and raw chicken or not raw chicken huh? oh, grilled shit. chicken not raw okay um salad Damn. grilled chicken uh-huh. and, and you know rice kind of grind a lot of tuna too tuna's op dude tuna's protein what does op like, stand for overpowered because you put that in your tweet it said diet has been op i, I, OP, I dude. tried to diet's work that OP, shit up. man diet's overpowered dude the first time you came you were talking about how many drugs how much drugs you do now you're like i'm looking at sodium and trans fats <laughs> Look at, see, see? evolution, Evolve. growing up. Evolution. Yeah, right? who, who would have thought, huh? Who would have thought? You who started thought? out as little Charmander. <laughs> now you're coming into Charizard. <laughs> I like it. You said you're looking for your warehouse. Mm-hmm. So. Yes. You're, can you please tell us about that? Because you've talked about it one time. So You and Eric posted it, too. Yeah, so me, Eric, and Attila, Attila from Cubis, uh, for those of you guys watching out there, um, we created a company together. So we've already, it's like a real registered LLC. It's kind of cool. We even got like the uh, bank account with the little debit card. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but yeah, we, we want to create weed products. You know, we want to create different ways for people to smoke. Um, we want to create different ways for people to get faded. I feel like a lot of times when I hit shit like an e-rig and 
I, I hit like, you know, different pipes and like bubblers that are out now. I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, like, this could be cooler, yep. you know, mm-hmm. like the current e-rig scene, everything's just a triangle on a base, you know, like make something sicker than that. It's not hard, you know? So we want to do that. Um, it's not just e-rigs. That's like the long-term goal, but obviously we can't just jump straight into making an e-rig. Um, but it's just general weed products and, and shit that we come up with, you know, to solve problems. It's, it's more of a company that we made because it's like, you know, there's so many inconveniences that we have when we're smoking and instead of waiting for someone else to solve them and then do paying it so. for yeah. it, we just fucking do what it. What you yourself. showed me at the event that I saw him at, what was it? The, uh, secret sash. It's oh. all like little inventions and like, looks oh, like little the, modern. The little, isopropyl station. It was like a bunch of little gadgets. And yeah. Like, so one of the, one of the things that we're dropping first, I guess we could talk about this cause it's coming the soonest. Um, we're making little isopropyl stations, uh, where you can like put your bangers and your marbles and you can, uh, lift it out of the isopropyl and mm, lock it into like place. Like a deep fryer thing? Yeah. Lift it out, lock it into place. So your shit's not dripping anywhere, getting wet. Um, cause all the other similar stuff on the market right now, you're just dripping. You gotta you know, get the little diamond grabber. Yeah. Yeah. That, oh, we should include that. That'd be <laughs> sick. A little bundle, you know, throwing yeah. a diving grabber. I actually don't have one of those yet. I just got one. My broke yesterday. Bro, they're so it. sick, dude. They're awesome. I've just been sticking my hands in the ISO for so long. Yeah. Like, same. You know, what else we, we all do? do? Yeah. <laughs> so, what's it look like as far as the shop goes? Like, is it live? Is it about to be live? Um, for Fumo. Mm-hmm. So, right now, we're not selling anything. We're still in the early stages of product development. Oh, I just ashed on my own finger. Um, we're still in the early stages of developing products and coming up with new ideas. The isopropyl is probably the soonest thing. We've already kind of, we know what we're doing. We already have, you know, examples of them made. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually just got one from Attila the other day, which I'm nice. very excited so, to start using. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're, we're mainly in the still looking for a location, product development. And once we get the location, really filling that out with like mm-hmm. putting machinery in there, putting... Um, you know, computers in there. I'm putting a little little mini studio in there, so nice. that's gonna be fun. Yeah. But just making it chill, so, you know. It's inspiring um, to watch you guys off YouTube now make these businesses. Your own thing. Yeah, know. the the early stages of it have been really fun because you know I I told them you know when we were sitting down and talking about when we want to launch things, I said we're at the stage of the company where we can take our time and make it good. Mm-hmm. But once we drop something, we don't have time for that. Yeah. You know, like we have to continue. We have to like be consistent. So we're really taking our time and making sure that like what we do is perfect, you know, making mm-hmm. sure that we have a, a consistent line of things that, um, <laughs> but I broke something, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I was kind of worried. I saw your face. I was like, wait, what I happened, saw something bro? Broke. Sorry. Um, here, but, uh, I'm just kind of making sure that we have a consistent line of products that are dope and, and are worth people's money. Are they going to be on like the more expensive end? <laughs> Some, yes. Um, anything that's got electronics involved, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we're, we're putting quality first, you know, I, I don't think we're really mass producing anything. That's not our plan. Um, we're, we're not making volume products, you know, we're making gotcha. stuff that's cool stuff that people are gonna, people are gonna want. Um, mm-hmm. and I understand that people want more affordable stuff. Of course, that'll always be, you know, something that'll happen down the line, but I don't think it's something we're, fo- we're focused on early on. Mm-hmm. I think we're just focused on making the sickest shit. Are we going to you know? see this this year? Come yeah. out. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Um, definitely, probably sooner than a lot of people think. Mm-hmm. But yeah, coming this year. Yeah, I'm excited yeah. about it, man. I've we've been working on it for a while. The company was uh, registered back in October. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's so, been a minute. Yeah, that's smart. It's like people don't realize. Like, no, I've been working on this for like two years. We're this is like yeah, we had a plan behind this drop. It looks yeah, like we're you just know, dropping and it now. we we've been talking about it for a long time, even before. Uh, like actually going and making the company we had talked about it for a while originally it was a a discussion that attila and i had had he was like oh i want i want to you know make this new product and i told him i was like it was the bowl correct yes what he was talking about yes the bowl um and that's something that we're still working on refining and making better um that's something that's going to be a part of fumo so that's going to be a fun one but we um we were talking about that and i told him i was like bro we should do some shit together you know like he's the engineer he's really good at what he does he's amazing at making products and coming up with ideas but he is not the greatest at marketing so i told him i was like bro i'll market forces you develop Mm -hmm. we're chilling you know and then we were talking about it further and we were like well what if we brought eric on board you know Mm -hmm. like 
Eric's he's got connections. He he's already doing his th thing with Innova, and mm -hmm. we need someone to help us with glass stuff. Um, and Eric's also our a good friend of both of us. So mm -hmm. fuck it, bring that Eric on. Fair. You know, yeah. now we got the homies. And um, I mean, a lot of people say don't don't do business with your friends, and I, I disagree with that. For sure. You know, um, I think when you have the right business minded friends, mm -hmm. yeah, not well, every friend. You know? yeah. Oh no, no. Not a, every friend. I can name a lot of friends I wouldn't do business with. I can with, name a but. lot of friends that I do business that I know do their own business, but I'm like, also, I don't want to deal with the problems. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I've dealt with that before. I'm like, bro, let's take the business aspect out of it. You're on time and doing shit. <laughs> How come when it involves our shit, you suck? Like, I'm not saying like exact friends, but yeah. it's, it's happened before years. Yep. I'm just like, you're going to make me hate your ass for work. Like, uh, that's that's just my mm -hmm. brain like if i can get it done why can't you that's all i feel so that i feel if that. you guys are all on the same page yeah yeah i mean i'm i'm excited about it i think um i think it's it's gonna be really fun and i'm excited to make shit um for yourself that we want yeah that's yeah. the coolest part you know we're like, sitting here and we're make, coming up with shit way. and it's like we're not even considering like how many people are going to buy it or what's the demand for this? It's, it's just coolest. like, yo, this is something we want. Cook it up. <laughs> like, thing. Yeah. That's yeah. The, that's the whole beauty of having your own space. And yeah. Your own business and your own bank and account with your card, your yes, name on it. Yes. Having Isn't our own space, having the freedom for our own ideas. And, you know, we, we don't have any outside funding. You know, we don't yeah. have any people really telling us what to do and we don't plan to. Um, we're kind of planning to, to self fund ourselves. So gonna be way a, to do it bro. yeah it's gonna be a and a fun when you one. get the check and you're like oh we split it between ourselves yeah we're just like hey break bread you know we, we were talking about it we're gonna put like five percent to the boat fund we want to buy a boat you guys want to buy a boat yeah we're gonna get a boat so we can go fishing and shit <laughs> we're gonna buy a nice boat go deep sea fishing oh. oh you guys are all down with that that's scary dude what's wrong with that are you down i don't fuck with the ocean i think we talked about this before. oh yeah no ocean but for me. like i didn't like going to the ocean in gta I'm not much of an ocean man myself. You get me out there, I'm dude. Last thing I want to do is pull a fish out of the water. Take a couple <laughs> grams of shrooms, Hell smoke no. some okay. weed, lose my mind. With the boat out to the ocean. With the boat, <laughs> we should get it this uh, this week. We got the dopest van. Ooh, we got like a, I thought we were just getting a van. These fools are bougie and are dumb. For I, it's expensive. It's, Did it's, they get one of those like Sprinter vans? It's so, it looks like this inside. Oh my it's god! It's got captain's chairs and <laughs> Damn. drinks. Uh -huh. I'm like, yo, this is sick. And they told me price. Go, guys. <laughs> why? We all have cars. We yeah. all have nice cars. Give me a ballpark. Because I feel like I'm damn near close to the Maybach. Damn. What? That's what I said. I go. What'd you say? I thought we were getting a van. How often are you going to be in That's there? what I said. Like, what? <laughs> what do we do? We should do this before the meet and greet and road trip to the meet and greets. That would have been. That's a yes. epic. Yes. You know, that's road trip sick. to the meet. That feels like old jackass, uh, CKY, like old school style. The, what is it called? The gumball run or whatever they did when they all raced across the country or whatever mm -hmm. it was. I get that. But when you're saying like, we get into a company boat, that's different. You guys like boats. This one, the, the dopest, they're like, yeah, we got this van. I go, sick. I saw the picture. I go, how much was this fucking van, guys? Yeah. It has neon dude. lights everywhere. That's all I kept thinking. Was, the cost, the cost. Like, dude, I don't okay. like being driven. Almost so as I don't much even as really a want to get into, Yeah, You know? Oh, I don't like being crazy. driven. That's I, I hate it, actually. Yeah, I, I want to be driving if I, I'm in a I car. I don't. Driving. I don't know what it is, but I don't trust when someone else is whipping a, a vehicle I'm in unless it's an airplane. Then I'm definitely gonna trust the airplane's the only reason because I can't control it, dude. I kind of want. Oh, is this the? No, hell okay. no. That's not the joint. Oh. Oh. oh, no, that's an OG joint. I didn't want you to miss it because that <laughs> one was taking a while. So, yeah, try that. Um. Anyway, yeah, I can't <laughs> wait for that van video. We're just gonna have to be like the bang bus and just call it something else. Like go pick up people, get them high as hell though. And instead. people sign their names uh -huh. on the top. Like, yeah, the but when bus, they get it, like, do you think you can sit here? Don't ask and how I know that. for twenty minutes. You gotta do something with it. I don't know. Something's gotta happen. <laughs> it can't just be like we're just going to dinner. Like I, I don't. Want yeah, it. you gotta like do like a like a mini tour. Something like has a to Cali happen. Tour and something the, has the to happen. It's gonna be fun. Like I think it's a great idea. Or you can do the talking with Thomas's in there. This now. I got the space. Sure. There you go. Something, something yeah, yeah. like maybe it's a series in the car. We drop off to different 
that would be sick. Or that would be something sick. has to happen. You got to do at least like a hot box in it. You know? Oh, that's the first or thing. We're a good do. video. But it, it's just like when you said the bow, I go. <sighs> The Bro, fan is so expensive. You wouldn't want to smoke on a boat? No. On the ocean? My homie Trent has a boat. His, his sister has a big ass boat. And oh. uh, I stepped foot on it and I was about 80 seconds in. And I go, I'm out of here. No, Fuck I love boats. Water. Dude, boats are it. Well, dude. to me, it's like this you're on a car, you're in a car. Mm -hmm. Step out, it's on fire. Mm -hmm. Cool. What happens if the boat catches on fire? What the fuck are you going to do? You just step out and you die? Have something to float in. It's called the boat. <laughs> no, bro. You, there's life vests. There's rafts, bro. No life one is just riding out vests. there. I ain't gonna put my feet dangling in the water, bro. What do you think? You think it's Jaws? You think like yes. the Great White's gonna come bite your ankle off? No. At all times, I think that that's not going. The You're odds good, of that, especially. I don't care about odds. No, bro. Uh, -uh. I think it's going this way. Are you scared in planes sometimes? Yeah, all the what time. What are the odds of it crashing? Very low. You're still scared. Eat. Plane's different. No, it's not. If a shark bites a your shark leg, you air. might live. If a plane goes down, you might you're live definitely too. Dead. You might live. A lot of plane crashes have lived. Oh, it's, I'm not man. worried about the the. Oh, I'm dead, shark. I'm worried about the. I'm getting eaten alive. <laughs> Damn it. Versus the. Oh shit, I'm falling out the so sky. So you're more scared mm. of getting eaten alive than the shark itself. Yes. Because yeah. if a sharks were super friendly, I'd be like, "Sick, let's go swimming." And so you're not scared shark. of sharks; you're scared of getting eaten alive. No, I'm scared of sharks because they don't compute with humans. They don't go, "Hey, man, you're but, cool. I ain't gonna eat you." Yeah, they do. No, they don't. They bite you. And then bro, you sharks die. are not always going to swim up and eat you. No, no. But would like, you risk being in the pool with a shark? What kind of shark? Any shark. You're gonna jump in and go. Depends on the kind of shark. I don't care. I'm racist against sharks. All oh. sharks are bad. You're racist. All sharks are bad. Whoa. I don't. You know what I saw last night? I saw people fishing in Australia, and it's like 15-foot shark or like 12-foot shark swimming. And like, look at it. And a big-ass great white comes behind it and eats its whole damn tail. Bro. <laughs> and then the thing kept trying to eat the stuff. It didn't even care that it just got bit. The whole back of it's gone. And that made me think, I don't care about the water. If this is the Truman Show, the government's done a very good job of keeping me out that water. What would you rather get eaten by? None. No, no, no. You have to pick. A whale. You have to pick. Shark, alligator. Alligator. Why? Because shark, I'm drowning also. True. True. Alligator, at least I'm on the surface, hopefully. And I think I could take an alligator. I don't give a fuck. If Captain Hook can kill an alligator, I'm pretty sure I can kill an alligator. I will choke an alligator to death if I, I really have no, to. No, bro. Alligators are like no, come very dead. But, come on. but, but look give me all right. Give better, me a blade. If you give me like a small blade, oh, you about the movie Blade. No, <laughs> like, no, what? not, not, not like Snipes. Blade. No, Snipes. <laughs> give me a small blade, and I could probably like slit his throat. You know, an alligator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they seem yeah. soft. I on just the bottom. need like a little, maybe even like a like a. Shark. They're like pit bulls that are too big. They can't really do much. Yeah, just get in their mouth. <laughs> but they can't do that death roll thing. You know. Yeah, they if you get in their mouth. Around. I'll roll all you want, motherfucker. Got your headlock. I'm mm. giving him a fucking sleeper hold. Versus just half your body being missing. Where's the other joint? Did we smoke that whole joint already? I think this is it. No? You smoked I, both of those already? Well, I no, I just had this little one, and then the other one was being passed around. Marty, didn't I give you a joint? Oh, you smoked that one already? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. where yeah. it's at. Yeah. Okay. I that's think we're doing good. No, we're doing <laughs> fine. I just wanted to make sure, like, did I throw it away? This, uh, sir. Mm. I'm concerned about it. Like, <laughs> I, like I don't even know concerned. what to say or think, because we have some crazy rosin in that. Oh, my God. How heavy is the it? weight of a torch? Oh my god! Right, you have to like. Oh, oh wow! Here you go. Check this out. American with this. Yeah, yeah. Cool American holy for shit! Sure. I'm proud to smoke this. All That's right, cool. so hold on. Sharks, alligators. Yes. How did we get on that? I don't. Remember I don't know fully at all. Oh, the spiders boat, are boat fucked talk, up. Boat talk. Bo oh, boats. Oh, boats are so lit. So you guys want to yep. get a boat. Look how bad <laughs> boats that Boats are lit. lit. It's like a, a ping pong ball with our conversation. Uh -huh. Or like the pinball and it just went... Toot, 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 toot. Is it the weed or do <laughs> we just all have ADHD? Like, I, dude, I think of... Well, it's not I, a bad thing. I found out recently... Do, let me ask you. Mm -hmm. Do you have inner dialogue? Oh, yeah. Okay, do you? Big time. Like okay. in my head? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you... Can you think of more than one thing at once? Like right now. 
Do you have a song always playing in your head while you're having oh, a conversation? All the fucking time, hey, bro. I have okay. a song playing in my head until I'm sleeping. Exactly. Bro. Okay, <laughs> have you ever have two songs almost trying to go? That's the worst. Oh, yeah. bro, my shit, yeah. My shit okay, is Okay, so bumping. I'm pretty sure we have is the same the thing. Is it the weed or do no, we all- No, I've been doing this as a child. You have that too? For sure, for damn sure. I, I don't have choice over the song. It's song exactly. Yeah, 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 No bro. choice whatsoever. Bro, I swear the other to day God. I had a- uh, Summer love from Greece in my head, five hours straight. Never went away. Well, the same part, too. While I'm cooking, I'm like, why? It's on repeat, just a why? loop of 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, same 10 <laughs> seconds over and over and over. You don't over. even realize it's there till like 4 p.m., but it's just been looping all day. This morning, I had, why, why, what you really want? <laughs> this morning, because last night, I was watching a piece of DMX going off on MTV. I was like, yeah. And then this morning, I woke up with it stuck in my head. Mm. So I just wanted to make sure we're all on the same page because I have a homie named yes. John that has no inner dialogue. And he had to tell me, what do you mean by that? So I found out John does not have inner dialogue at all. That's crazy. That's, I'm thinking so about. Because he, he doesn't multitask. It's one thing we know. If he's, he's texting, don't talk. If he's talking, don't talk. If we're watching a movie, don't ask him a question. He will not hear it. Hmm. His brain only does this. He's an NPC. I told him that too. Like he's actually like a bot. That's what I told him too. I'm like, dude, so you don't have a soul or something. What the fuck? I could <laughs> No, fine. like it's as just... annoying as it is when I've got like the same song going in my head for four days straight. At least I know, know okay. I mean, yeah, at least I know something's happening up there because I think if it was dead silent up there, it would be much worse. So I, I would probably go crazy. Very scary. Like I, sometimes I feel like I'm sitting there and I'm like, bro, if you put me in like solitary confinement. I'm fine. Yeah, I'd probably be okay. It's not worth I say that all the time. <laughs> like, what? I'm gonna get to sleep finally. Yeah. Like, what am I? What am I gonna do? Talk Would, to myself again? Is your guy? <laughs> is he pretty positive? The the oh, yeah, voice I'm in your chilling, head, dude. He's like be, a affirmative voice. Dude, I'll sit there and like play games in my head all the time. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, I'm not alone here. Just fucking, thank God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. my, my sometimes I thought is, it was crazy as a kid. Like, I, why are you talking to yourself, so dude? Much? Sometimes and then I, asking yourself why you're talking to yourself. <laughs> Sometimes I sit there and I wonder why it's like that. And I'm like, am I schizophrenic? I think that all the time, <laughs> dude. My grandma was bipolar. And I'm like, dude, is that me? Is something wrong with my brain? Why am I thinking of five numbers and things falling and a movie scene and a song? Yeah, I'll think of some numbers and then go bet on them. Oh, I, I don't do that. Oh, I, it works sometimes, though. OCD as a kid. It's actually works. worked. Big thing. The, the roulette hit, I'll never forget. Yeah, the first, uh, with Eric? Uh, yeah, but there was one time, too, I did it on... Um, What's it called? On stake. I don't remember what game I was playing. I think I was playing dice. And I was just thinking in my head, like, I was like, yo, it's finna hit this number, you know? Like, I'm gonna go crazy. So I did, like, a super, like, low odds bet. And I uh, I hit it one time, and I won, like, two grand or some shit. Damn. Like, one click. Yeah, it was fucking... Do you ever wake up, think of a song, two seconds later, hear it on the radio or your phone? Yeah, dude. I feel like I predicted shit. I feel All like I'm a psychic. Time. Or movies that are old as shit, and you walk into someone's house, like, why are you so, watching? Yeah, this someone will talk about movie? it. Or they'll be like, "I was just thinking." Mm -hmm. Like it's crazy yeah. all the time, it's though. Crazy. Huh? Or I'll be thinking, like I'll be thinking about like maybe like something I did with someone or like about someone, they'll and then just you. hit me up. They'll hit, they'll bang my line yep. immediately. Like I was all the time. I was talking to like I was thinking about one of my homies, and um, I was talking to like one of my other homies who was at my house at the time, and this dude we hadn't talked to him in like three months, four months. He just Snapchats me out of nowhere. Hits me up immediately. We went bowling, dude. I made a bowling team that night. I got so faded, I made a bowling team. <laughs> I could see you being good at bowling. Bro, I actually won. Are um, you good at bowling? No, I'm not. Oh, uh, me neither. I mean, I hit a couple strikes, but... What's I mean, the highest I ever got? It was like 140, 150. I'm like, yo. That's I'm way cheating. higher than I ever got, dude. I scored like a 118 the other day, and I thought I was the man. I thought I was the man, too. I was a kid when I did 150. Or the other day, I got 70. Yeah, yeah, seventy, dude. I so I try to avoid the double digits because I feel like that is oh, like yeah. Fucked, I, I would love know? to avoid double digits. Well, I I don't either. I hit like a eighty-seven the other day, and I was playing with my friends. Um, so yeah, I don't avoid them either. But I feel like there's not much in the Midwest to do. Bowling, dude. Bowling is drugs, lit, pizza. Yeah, yeah. So pizza. bowling, the drugs, the pizza, the museums. Don't forget. Oh the yeah, the museums. <laughs> oh, we're coming the back museums. to the wind. Yeah, what more do you need? What more do you need? Chap mm -hmm. lips? Nothing else. What more do you need? How about, hold on, one of our notes here. Oh, Marty, I like that. Hold on. Live Goblin in Chicago, I'm seeing. I'm good, I'm good. You want this? Sure. That's so, I've been seeing you tweet a lot about yeah. stand-up comedy. Yeah, so um, I, I kind of want to give stand-up a go. Good. Um, a lot of people, like, people have been telling me to do it for a long time, and I've always been interested in it, you know? Uh, I've never done anything like that before, but I just think it would be kind of fun, you know, whether I flop or not. I don't think I will, you know, I think, I think I'd be, 
I think it'd be fun. You know, I want to try it. So I was thinking, I was like, well, I don't really want to just go to some open mic night, you know, and just like talk to a bunch of random people. I was like, I can make it an event, you know? Um, Have your first time ever be a full yeah, event. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Like I was sitting there and I was like, all I got to do is rent an event space, get some security. Oh yeah. By the way, bitch. I talked to him last night. Hell yeah. Yeah. So we'll Hell talk yeah. after this. Yeah. Beautiful. Event space um, easy. So you're not just thinking that. about it. You're planning. Yeah, yeah. It. I'm uh, I'm looking into it for sure. I'm uh I definitely like Do you uh, have a bit? Like, do you have an hour? I haven't thought about any of that shit oh, yet. Okay. I'm just sitting here. Oh, I'll, I'll probably get to it, you know, but I'm just I wanna um I wanna look into the event space, see how much it costs. I mean, realistically, how long is it gonna take me to get a little bit together, you know? I mean, not that long. I also feel like a lot of shit that, you know, I, I can say and talk about, I don't know. I don't necessarily need to write a ton of stuff down. Yeah. Oh, I feel you. you. Know? You're good at the... just free form speaking. Yeah, just already. talking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think uh, I appreciate Tight, that. I tighter think, live um, stream. Yeah, pretty much. It's just a it. stream, bro. Because it's, just... it's different. You're not out there like, oh, I'm a comedian. I need to be respected by comedians. But, like, comedian can suck my fucking dick. Yeah, I don't care, dude. Fuck don't these people. Care. Yeah, fuck I'm these doing people, doing it for myself. Dude. So, we're starting our live podcasting this year. And I told Marty, like, I want to start it out with, like, me. Like, you guys should come. 10 minute. No, I'm saying, like, Stand up shit because I've been writing yes. shit forever. Yes. yes. I uh I won't say I won't this guy that does a lot of comedy comedy central specials, uh, I wrote out like 15 minutes. I did it for him. He gave me some notes. And that was the first time I ever did any of that. It was like right before the pandemic happened. Because it's something I always want to do. I'm like, I think I could do it. And if it sucks, yeah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I think it'd be fun. Yeah. That, so what you're saying, I'm like, yeah. yeah, it'd be fun, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's fuck it. And I'm like, I don't want to do a bunch of strangers. What if we threw our and that's when we were like, what if we just did it at the beginning of our fucking show? Like start yeah, off with like you should. 10 minutes. You should, bro. Smoking a joint. You should. Chilling. I, I feel like I don't know, dude. You should you should like come perform at the event. Like we should collab oh, on the event. I see dude. what you're saying. You already have bits. <laughs> I like this. Marty, Find write it. a bit. Yeah. Yeah. So dude, we're doing stand up. For damn sure. Let's do it. I could I'll see it happening. Who gives stuff. a fuck? But no, I'm just man. saying, like this Good. is not the same. Uh, yeah, I, the shit on there is going to be like. <laughs> well, because you know, comedians have a pass. You can get once you have a mic in your hand, you can say whatever. Yeah, you want. once you, if you're on a stage with a mic in your hand, you're allowed to say. You that. can say anything. Like, honest to God, I'm not saying I would say it, but I probably could say the N word <laughs> if I was on stage with a mic. You know, so realistically, I, think that's what you're I mean. With. I don't know if you get the full pass, bro. I, I don't know if the mic gets you the full pass. If, 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 if my bit was Kramer. good enough, I think I would. Stop. You're completely but right. You know you're completely right. If your shit was fucking funny enough, yeah. and they're like at the end, like, okay, without you saying that, not as funny. Yes. Also, you're running the risk. Of course. And I think after I say some shit, I'm just going to go do this. Life's a risk. Life's a gamble. What are you going to do? I'm kind of brown. Huh? I can say stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I can't do that. Um, See, I can't do that. I can't do I'm really white. I'm super, super. I'll, I'll, I'll do this. Yeah. The bottom of like, like that. Yeah, upper arm. <laughs> I, look at, I get a pass a little, right? Yeah, I got whiter the further up my arm it goes, oh, yeah. dude. I oh, mean, yeah. look at how Caucasian I Soft am. Soft Look at how Caucasian. <laughs> Holy fuck. Um, stand up would be great. Yes. Um, oh, the night, you know how wild this is? What? Talking about school. The night I went to go do that shit for that stand up dude, mm -hmm. uh, we we're at some bar, went outside, talked, did the thing. I went in and it was closed down, but he knows the bar guy, so he let us sit at the bar. Okay. It was closed down because they had a private party. And I'm looking over, I'm like, this is in Hollywood. I'm looking over at the table just randomly and I'm like, is that my teacher from seventh grade? Oh, no way. The guy that made me want to get straight A's. That's the reason why I started. What I had, a beast. I had straight A's. And he says, if you do every assignment, I will automatically bump you up a full letter grade. What a beast. And that's why I got 4.0 mm. because he, I had a B plus and he bumped me up A plus because I did all my work, right? Mm -hmm. Mr. Mondo, he's the dude that I had math student of the year I, because of him. He's the one that gave me mm -hmm. the award. And um, that's why I was so good with PAX. Anyway, I was doing this thing. We're talking. I look over. I'm like, are you kidding me? It happened to be his birthday. And the owner of the re the bar happened to be his friend. And I talked to him for like 10 minutes. It was the craziest shit. I hadn't seen him in mm. forever. And he's like, so what do you do? And I'm like, oh, I'm just with this guy. And then I kind of told him, he's like, what the fuck? Oh, that's great. He was, he was stoked. He's like, what the <laughs> fuck? That's what you're doing here? That you're just hanging? I'm like, no, I live here. It was just such a weird, like, full circle. Like, yeah. you're the guy that made me want to try. 
Wow. How, Mr. Mondo? Shout out to you from Tanaya. Yeah, that's fucking sick. Yeah, it awesome. was a trip, bro. I only ever had like one teacher I liked like that. That actually cared. I wrote her a nice email one day, but like that was recently, oh, a couple years ago. Really? Couple years ago? Were you yeah, inebriated just, when you did it? Uh oh, hell yeah! yeah. Bro, I was wasted. <laughs> I was like, you know, I should write. I should it. write a letter. <laughs> so I was, I was drunk and I was also coked up, and it was, was like, you had it was like six a.m., awesome. bro. I was geek. <laughs> did she respond? Uh, uh, yeah, bro. She actually responded. She was like, "Oh, it's so nice to pic? hear from you." No, no I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Listen, it, was, it wasn't, it wasn't like my was. government class in high school. It wasn't like that. Um, she wasn't my favorite because of you know her looks. I'll say that she looked kind of like. Uh, oh, now you're gonna compare it? I don't know. She just Mrs. Puff. She was a great woman. I'll say that she was just. She had a good heart. Um, oh, so I like the way you just <laughs> going around there. <laughs> I was, she, she looked like <laughs> she had a good heart. Yeah. Damn. You realize you're about to be a dickhead. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I, I so held mean. myself back. But um, so yeah, either way, I wrote her. I, I was super geeked up one morning. I just wrote her a nice email. I was like, oh, thank you for being so kind. Cause she she was like super cool. I was flunking her shit, bro. I I was getting a terrible ass grade, but it was because I didn't do any homework. And yeah. homework was the majority of her mm -hmm. class. Same. So I was passing my tests, but I, we don't get graded for anything but homework and tests mm -hmm. and more of the grade was homework than tests you d plus class. it you can't get a c with no homework. bro i got a 30 percent ah see our teacher because i also so to be fair i didn't show up for finals so what the fuck whoa mm -hmm. that's a big I one mean, dude i had yeah to well, but finals. by the time i was already by the time finals time came um it was over it was like i had like a 50 something percent you weren't making it so it was like bro i would have to like ace this final yeah i get it and it's what a stress happening. huh but the, the teacher went, oh. so i took the class twice and the teacher was super cool um she was like super nice about it she was very encouraging like she was always like oh like you know don't give up on the class like i know you can do it you just don't want to <laughs> you <No>. know <laughs> which is true um she was super cool about it but also it was my geometry teacher and i I still don't know geometry. Fuck geometry. <laughs> that shit is fucked up. Oh my. Fuck your shapes. I know. Hold like this. I, I, whenever I talk about this, there's always so many people that, that comment on my shit and they're like, damn, you don't even know geometry. Fuck no. And it's like, bro, Late when am I ever going to use geometry, All dude? What? When I'm trying to hang shit, I'm like, the angle of this would work. We're <laughs> building our shit. I go, if I knew geometry, I guess I could put this table together. Just hire <laughs> And I just hired Trent. I go, yeah, oh, you know what? Yeah, just hire Fuck someone. this. I'm paying. Hire a guy who work. knows geometry because I sure as hell don't know that <laughs> Thank shit. Thank you. I took you know? geometry two times in two different Me states. Me as well. I was in Portland. Oh, my I took it. God. Should I hit this upright? Upright. Yeah, it's going yeah. to be dripping. Oh, you can see that bitch going. <laughs> oh, yeah. I might have rolled too much weed at the tip. You can kind of see the paper burning around it. But oh, we'll just I be, taste the rosin. Yeah, we'll be. I put it at the very end. I hate when fools put it at the middle. You got to wait twenty fucking minutes to hit it. I hate it. I taste it already. Mm -hmm. Oh my um, god. Okay, so, hold on, real quick. Can mm -hmm. I ask a question? Yeah. What do you think about this raw lawsuit? A lot of it is hoopla. A lot of it is bullshit. You know, uh, initially reading the articles, yeah, sure, it looked bad. But you also have to remember that those articles are from like no name, what the fuck outlets. Like it was just random websites. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the stuff in the lawsuit is technicalities. Like it's not really very bad, but there are a couple things in there that are kind of concerning. Yes. Um, I think the location part is fucked because they had no valid reason to lie about where they're actually made. Um, because they're only processed. The papers were only processed in Spain. Um, not actually made there. When they get like made, they they're claiming. in France. Yeah, they're in France, which why even lie? Like, there's no problem. I personally... I wouldn't... It wouldn't vary that my doesn't, decision. No, that doesn't change my decision. I wouldn't look at that and be like, oh, they're oh France? France? France is they're trash. France. Like, like fries? Yeah, France has a good reputation for things, you yeah. know? Like, I think like When I think of French products, I think of like wine and cheese. I'm like, oh. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll smoke some French papers, you know? But like Spain... I, I don't even give a fuck about Alcoy, dude. Like whatever they're talking about. Yeah, like I don't. I thought that was odd. Who the that fuck was such is a Alcoy? Thing. Yeah, like, lied about it. Like lied. Really? Don't lead but, with that weak part. Lead with the yeah, other. Yeah, they. No. That didn't matter. Um, they aren't allowed to claim that the papers are made with natural hemp gum anymore. But I think that that one was just a technicality too. Mm -hmm. I might be wrong. I don't know. I'm not an expert. 
but also um i don't know i mean i mean it's the charity work and it's the medals so the and the chari- paper that people really care about actually. so the paper is bullshit yeah the medals in the paper isn't even real that's bullshit. not in any legal document the no. medals in the paper is just some random rumor um <laughs> that's not true at all no but the uh the charity so there actually is a you know verifiable track record of raw giving a lot of money to charitable you know things like doing their own drives and and donating to charities and they've provided proof of that it's mm-hmm. called raw giving they have proof of their actual like transactions josh kesselman is like come out and like shown them and stuff um I don't know if he's exactly shown them, but he's like uh, posted on the raw giving Instagram, like more proof of the amounts they've contributed and stuff. Yeah. And um, they've, they've always been open about what they do. It's, it's been a thing for a long time, but it's not a registered charity. It's not a tax exempt charity, um, but they were never collecting donations or anything. They were just using so by money. not tax exempt means like they can't put it on their taxes. They pay taxes on the charity. Like the charity is not a tax exempt organization. So a which company. means, which means, like, I don't, they I don't pay know. More money. Yeah, I, I don't know. I so I guess the reasoning behind it, um, it, at least from what I read, is that he didn't want to not pay taxes. You know, he was like, he was trying to like do some honorable thing, like, oh, I'll pay taxes, but like, so that's bad. Wouldn't I, that be like a plus? Like, oh, and yeah, you pay taxes on it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess it would be a plus. I like, um, but I think so. Some of the stuff that I read, and I'm not sure if it's correct or not, but some of the stuff that I read said that they had claimed uh, in interviews that it was a a registered charity when it wasn't, which I guess could have caused the issue. Gotcha. But I couldn't find any of those interviews. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It might have been an interview with like someone at the company because I was Mm. looking for like interviews with Josh when we discussed it. Um, and I, I couldn't find any, so I don't really know, but I think it's a lot of technicalities. And at the end of the day, uh, OCB papers still suck dick. So mm-hmm. you don't feel differently about raw. <laughs> Not really. Yeah. No, I but OCB still sucks. That was great. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> well, I have a video. My very first story time of the year, Nick, coming out this year is about raw paper situation. Cause a lot of the first lawsuit was about me in the OCB soon raw was about me. So I don't know if it was the same lawsuit, but this is like seven years ago. So OCB tried to recruit my ass. Mm -hmm. And then when I told him, you know what? I'll wait for the story, but it's a long story. Mm -hmm. They just kind of of sound salty. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sitting here trying to like, they're super corporate and like, I'm just saying like from my perspective, me, nobody else on the earth has this perspective because OCB didn't try to recruit you asshole. So people like, you're just repping raw. Suck my dick. So listen to what I'm saying. Like after I told him no, then they try to sue Josh about it. It's like, what? That's like, yo, girl, let me get your number. Oh, you're ugly yep. anyway. That's exactly mm-hmm. what they did, basically. Mm-hmm. So we'll talk more about it in the videos, but I just wanted to get your opinion on it because what you can look up is what I can look up. Yeah, I mean, so I I've never even been contacted by any of the rolling paper companies. Like, they've never hit me up. I have no affiliation with Raw, any of them. You know, yeah, you're just talking about um, as a normal consumer. So yeah, as, as a consumer, they can all suck my dick for all I care. But like personally, I think uh, OCB is pretty trash, <coughs> and I think the lawsuit was kind of petty. Yeah. You know, I've seen certain people um, really trash and raw on social media, which is unfortunate. It's good but, to see though, because now that everybody's like, "Oh, you're lying, you're lying," and then three days later, like, "Oh." It just wasn't registered, but you did give money and you pay taxes. It's good, so you can see all the people. people are saying true colors that still, coming out. And I'm saying yeah. you can see a lot of people how they really feel, and that's a that's a good. It's a flush. It's like a, a toxin flush out of your life. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you're a hater. Didn't know that. I don't know. It's it's good. It's good to like it's let good. news like that sit for a yeah. little bit, let it play out, yeah. then kind of make it. I got a thousand DMs like you need to speak on. I'm like, no, I don't. I don't own that company. Mm. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I've I've had a bunch of people telling me I should like make a video on it. I don't really care that much, you know. Thank you. And then what happens? Like story time. You know what? My story time about the lawsuit. There's like it's like a little bit of it. My story about this raw is like 
from 2014. Yeah, you oh, have shit. an actual like all the crazy shit. But- they used to run their Instagram. I used to run their. But there was a time me and Josh did not fuck with each other whatsoever. Yeah, did not talk to. Don't call me. Don't fucking hit me up. I don't want to talk to you right now. And I know a lot of people are like, whoa, that's happened. Mm-hmm. I mean, it happens in business and shit where it's like, yo, is this shit's not working, and you're pissing me off. Yeah. So th- I have a long history with this. Josh is, <laughs> Josh is the man. He's been on the show. That's him on and off camera. That's how he is. So I remember when he came into the studio, though, he was like a little bit like acting like he didn't know if you were going to be super happy or not. Oh, I don't know. Really? Yeah. Me and him, we chilled. Because mm. this was a long time ago, me mm. and him were buttering each other. Like, I quit fucking with raw for a while like i never talk about it because i'm not a gossip bitch but like at the time i didn't just go hey by the way fuck no I just let it be like i don't mm-hmm. care but it's been like eight years so I'm like, you know let's talk damn about this. Mm-hmm. let's talk about it it's a long story and they're supposed to be making push trees papers for me and all this shit so that's why i brought i, I was like you know what fuck it let's talk about it people yeah might up, as well might no. as well at this point but you know what i'm saying like you're not that contracted by that it's it's going, it's going. I can see it starting to drip right here. Oh my god! The rosin you can definitely taste the differences. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All type of flavors are hitting right. I now. got a question. So if we were to poll right now, uh, your YouTube, your Spotify, your Netflix, your all your I don't things even have that you a Spotify watch. yet. Okay, any of your things that you listen to throughout the day. What's oh, your top? you mean that I listen to? I thought you meant like platforms i'm on i was like yeah oh. yeah no this is okay. you as a viewer what, <coughs> okay. what's your most viewed this year the past couple months stuff that you're watching mm. or, or listening question. to music youtube tv so music wise i've started listening to lucky i didn't listen to him before lucky um, from living legends no l-u-c-k-i oh oh never mind uh, I was like, wow. Holy <laughs> shit. Deep underground rapper. <laughs> no, no. I thought you meant Lucky I Am. Never mind. I didn't know there's another rapper named Lucky. There is. Sick. Um, I started listening to him. Uh, I, I didn't like his older stuff, but I think his newer stuff's really good. Uh, he did a song with Future that I liked. Yeah, I probably, so, heard, I probably heard some. Um, Yeah, probably at some point. But I don't really like listen to that much music, except for when I'm like not home. I just yeah, drive all day and smoke weed, or I'm out doing something where I'm not listening to music myself, you know. So I don't listen to music that much. But um, in terms of Netflix, I rewatched The Sopranos recently. It's a good show. So good. Great show. So good. You watch East Bound and Down? No. There's what something you're going to love. Kenny Powers. Kenny Powers. You need to go watch East Bound and Down. Okay. It's only four seasons. You're going to okay. love it. It's Danny McBride. You know who that is? Yes. I love short and sweet. Danny McBride. You ever seen Vice Principals? No. You ever seen The Magnificent Gemstones? No. Okay, it's all Danny McBride shows. I know who Danny McBride is, though. Eastbound Down is about a baseball player that used to be on the top, and then now he is a normal life guy. But it's played by Danny McBride, and he's an entitled asshole, but it's the funniest show. I think one of the funniest scenes in TV history is when, you know, I won't even break. You got to watch it, all right? It's one of my favorite shows. It's Matt, my fifth favorite show of all time. I will. I will. Uh, f- go. Favorite shows ever. Top three. All right. Sopranos. Instantly. Immediately. Um, kinda, it could be comedies, too. It, it could be The Simpsons. You it's a mean? little tough after that. So, OG Simpsons, I would say that. 15 and down. But it's just been on a downward spiral for a long time. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, most of those old shows have, you know? Um. All right, this is an OG one. This is like a childhood show for me, but I, I feel like I have to rank it highly. Go. Dexter's Laboratory. Oh, Dexter's Lab was great. Dude. That shit was lit. <laughs> Dexter's Lab was sick. I, I don't know if it's number two, but it's like in the, you know, in Something. the, the Do ranking. Do you remember the episode where Dexter wanted to learn everything in the world and his brain got real big? <laughs> and at the end, he met the master and it was Dee Dee. Yep. Yeah, that shit <laughs> It was like a nightmare. I remember that. I was like, no, I was such a Dexter fan. Like Dexter Dee Dee is stops, hey. fantastic. God, it's a good show. Number three. So I have um. There's this one show that I used to watch a lot of. Honorable mention: Breaking Bad. But I don't want to be like, you know, basic motherfucker and be like, yeah, Breaking Bad. But Dude, it's every, probably one of the best a, shows of all time. <laughs> it is. Though. Yes, it's definitely top three. Yes, I I love it. Don't get me wrong, but I didn't like how it ended. I didn't. I didn't. I love it. I'm like, yo, you deserved it, bro. I thought 
early on it was really interesting, but it kind of tur- just turned into like, let's cook Jesse for like three seasons. That's you true. Know? And then yeah. Walter would like. You got to respect the man's run. Jesse though. would like meet someone and then Walter would kill them. And then like <laughs> Jesse meets someone, Walter kills him. You know, like just keeps happening. I get it. Uh, <laughs> so I, I don't know. So I don't know. So what's the other show? Oh, I'm fucking cooked. Holy shit. All right. Ross number three. Flowing. Number three. I would have to say for number three, probably Seinfeld. Let's go. Seinfeld is very good. Seinfeld's very chill. Mm-hmm. Why, I, <laughs> why is Soprano so great? You never why? seen it? No, oh, not really. Dude. You love it, Marty. You I fall in love bro. With it. It's like it's, it's really a really good. so I like, you know, mafia and like mob movies. I find them interesting. I, I like the um I don't know. <laughs> I like the action in them. I think they're interesting movies. Um, it's shit that doesn't really happen anymore, like that, at least. You know, you yeah. don't have them riding around shooting Tommy guns and shit. But, uh, I mean, I guess they weren't doing that in Sopranos either. But, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? They were, like, doing shit that probably isn't really happening that much now. Um, it was just, like, so well acted. James Gandolfini, uh, I think was his name. Uh, R.I.P. to that dude. He he was just so good on the show. Super like, intense. the way Tony was played. Yeah, he was, like... It felt super real, bro. Um, the guys that smile when they smile are scarier. Those kind of actors. The side characters were all like really good in their own ways. Like it was just crazy. It was a show it's that a solid like, show. Everyone really killed it. And like everyone who who played a consistent character on that show was like really good. You know. Mm-hmm. So did you ever watch Sunburn of Anarchy? I've seen some episodes of it, but I never like got into I'm not, it. I am not comparing. You know what these shows? show? I, I wanna... was just asking. Don't fucking think I was comparing these damn shows. Sorry for people. Like, no, Did you no, just compare I, I, I know you're not comparing. No, those. it's a good show, but no, they mentioned Merced in there because they're like the last place you can get a legal it takes place out there, right? Uh, Lodi. I didn't even want to uh, say keywords on YouTube at this point. <laughs> yeah, Dude, it's once. been crazy lately, hasn't it? Yeah, on it's YouTube, even worse. we were talking about before you got here. It's so bad right now. Like they cranked <sighs> it up for 2023. Yeah, the biggest news ever, right? Susan, the new new. CEO. I don't know anything yeah. about the new person she coming. Go. In, she go. She so, go. The rumor is the new guy is responsible for NFT integration and development at YouTube. Um, so he wants NFTs and like digital stuff. He's a big like crypto guy. Um, which will you let me smoke weed on the internet? I don't know. That's he the only question. Listen, yeah. crypto bros are usually either like total losers or drug addicts. I hope he's a monster. Yeah, does I hope balls, he's geeked bro. right now, bro. I hope he's, I hope he's geeked right hooked, now bro. because if he's not, we're all fucked. So <laughs> could you imagine we see this fool at a party? Could you fucking imagine bro, getting all that with traps? a YouTube? <laughs> we catch right? Neil chilling, <sighs> geek. At a bar or some shit. I will give him a zip a day for the rest of his life if he just lets me be. That thing is hitting like no other. It's it's actually one of the better donuts I've smoked. The I've, it's ripping. I'm disabled right now. Like, like, I'm, I'm disabled. <laughs> Melting underneath the table. I'm dumb right now. <laughs> oh, we got to get high with the guy on YouTube. Fuck, I had a question. I forgot what it was. Oh, top three. Oh, top shows. Okay, good shit. Yeah. Seinfeld. All right. So I think it's... Office or Seinfeld's number one or number two? Oh, Office is five. Office has more characters. And Office is so elite. You know what I mean? So it's like there's more characters. I love Office and Seinfeld at the same time so much. Is How can I really pick? But I think I might just go Seinfeld. Seinfeld, Seinfeld is elite, Then dude. the Office. It's unfortunate that Kramer's racist, but- you I know, know, but it's just, okay. Just separate- Separate it, yeah. Separate the yeah. art from the artist. Mm-hmm. And then I started thinking, <laughs> Seinfeld, I love it. There's only like four ethnic fools on the show throughout the whole nine yep. seasons. Literally. Hmm. That makes you wonder. Yeah. I never thought about that. That makes you wonder. Oh, I think about it all the time because I love the show. Yeah, everyone's white. Everyone is Which white. Which is fine. Seinfeld. But it's more like totally you're okay. in New York City, the melting pot of races. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think it really matters what race anyone is on a show. No, but now day, that I'm thinking you know? about like. But, and you have to remember this movie is. You gotta like, go out of your way this to movie. Be that this way. show, you have to remember this show is like 20, 30 years old. Yeah. You it's know? the best show ever. So, oh, oh it's amazing. Yeah, it, like, it does not change my opinion at all. Yeah. I watch it so much that I know what episodes. Like, yeah, the Mexican dude, oh, the black guy, oh, the, the, the black lady, the, the white dude. Like, every episode. But it's fine. I don't give a fuck. They're funny. It does not sway my opinion. 
but I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Damn. Uh, Office, Seinfeld, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. You watch that? Uh, I've watched some episodes. Also, I haven't like really binged it. Might be one of the best. But shows a lot time. of my friends tell me to watch that. It's, part of, it's, it's to just it too good. Uh, I've heard it's good. It's so funny, bro. It's just it's just so funny. It's it's really like that. It's so fucking. You've got to be like the tenth person to tell mm. me this. Like I've I have every this. season on DVD. I mean, I've watched a couple three. episodes. I didn't really get into it. I didn't think it was bad or anything. It just didn't like that you have it pull me it. in. You gotta. Uh, I tried watching the new Lord of the Rings show that Amazon did because low key, I used to read the books. A the show kid. about it now? Yeah, bro. Oh, God. well, the movie slapped. What you don't like Lord of the Rings? It's so long and boring. Bro, the ring, dude. I hate him. <laughs> I really wish I got ring. into him, dude. I really wish I could get Bro. into him, but I'm more like. Lord of the Rings is fire, dude. The world is crazy. I remember being a kid and reading that book, and I couldn't believe but it. But they could fly on dragons. There was, You could fly in that, in that movie? Uh, Wasn't there flying the stuff? Yeah, they have that shit. Why do they fly on them and just drop that no, bitch in the be, fucking but volcano? But they're, they're not like rich and like, you know, well off like that. This dude's like, bro, like they got the hobbit in that hoe. Like he doesn't have shit, bro. He's like two feet tall. He lived in a hole in a mountain or a hole in a hill, You're not, not even a mountain, you know, just like a little mm-hmm. dirt. You're not hole. wrong, but hey, like, he's not a warrior. Can't or get a horse. He's not a, you know, he had Gandalf like helping him out sometimes, but like, you, you mean know, Raiden? I mean, dude, he did, he just didn't <laughs> they didn't have the resources. You know? People are gonna hate me now because I hate Lord of the Rings. I don't give a shit. Fuck it, yeah. No, speak your they truth, were cool. dude. They're cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm just not gonna watch them again. Oh, you know what? I should because I haven't watched them since they came out. You I'm should watch them, dude. You should. Harry watch Potter. Them. I don't know which one's which. Star Wars, same shit. I don't know why. Like, if no one's making me laugh. Mm-hmm. Like, I, 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 I agree with you on Star Wars. The old I don't. Ones I liked them when I was a kid. I don't really care for Star Wars, but I love the uh, the games. Oh, the games, are bro! The Lego sick. ones. Have yeah, you played those? The the Lego oh, Star yeah, Wars. Oh my! That. This so clapping fire, dude. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Then Kirby Enthusiasm. Have you ever watched that? No, but I know what it is. I know what it is. That's my fourth favorite show. And number five is Eastbound and Down. I used to really like workaholics. Workaholics, I've only seen a few episodes is, of it. Surprisingly, funny. it's funny. I've never finished it, but the ones I watched were funny. I just never came around because if I watch them, I want to watch every. I episode. also think South Park is on point sometimes for cartoons. It's probably but number one or two. Not ever a show that I've watched like consistently, like every episode. I've watched most episodes, you know, because when I was a kid, I used to just I thought the cuss words were the greatest, you know. Like I, I remember like, when it came out, right? Me too. You're, well, I remember the first one I watched was Barbara Streisand, Mega Streisand, and Tom's rhinoplasty. And we were in Mariposa with my stepdad, the same one he almost got eaten by a jaguar or a mountain lion. <laughs> same exact place. Oh, my fucking God. I was a child. I was in fourth grade. And they were in fourth grade. So I thought it was like the coolest shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, he's cussing. He's like, I'm not fat. I'm like, yo, me neither, man. I get you. <laughs> Dude, the, the, the earlier episodes were, were still funny as hell. Mm-hmm. But Aged now they well. got progressively worse. I mean, mm-hmm. funny. Like the kids got, the episodes got, the content was so much more fucked up. As yeah. I should say. Not worse. Like, like they, they didn't they're, need to have a filter hard. back then, and they do now. No, no. I think it's the opposite. They said less when, when they were young, like in the earlier years. Now they're saying, I mean, the F word, the AIDS <laughs> episodes, there's a lot of episodes I can point out like, Whoa, they got away with that because you're a cartoon. How funny. I, I just mean, think horrible shit's funny. Mm-hmm. I disagree. I think the old episodes were way more offensive, bro. Really? Yeah, dude. You mean like season one, two, first, or three? Inch? First five or six seasons compared to like the new shit of South Park? Probably way more offensive, honestly. Really? I've, 100%, I have a percent. A hundred percent. They did not give a fuck back then, bro. Like, which seasons are you saying? One through five, I'd say. Like, they were the first... so timid and. That's like the no, Monica I di- one. I disagree, dude. I disagree. Really? Um, which season is where they're just throwing up every time? Every time uh, Wendy talks to Stan, those seasons. That was a banger episode. Yeah, around them, but like it was like I don't know, bro. You have to remember too, like back then, Tolkien was just like a normal, like big, like consistent joke on the show. Like yeah. they don't even joke about him anymore. Like they don't, they don't ever bring up. When's the last time you saw an episode where Tolkien was a joke? I think they beat it to death already. Maybe that's why. Maybe, but I feel like they, they still go hard now. Like with 
when they're making fun of uh come on what's the guy's name or the lady's name the kardashian's dad bruce caitlin jenner bruce jenner Cruz, Cruz Cruz caitlin jenner. jenner caitlin jenner yeah when they make fun of her on the show it is brutal yeah it's almost like yo this got approved <laughs> hilarious <laughs> oh because I always think of like the celebrities have to see this. This is so mean. Yeah. Oh I, my dude, God. Dude, I, w- I would so be blown. Bad, but I if you get, blown. but if you get made also, fun of on South Park, you're yeah. immortalized forever. Oh, I would also want to be on it. But I'm 100%. saying if I was Caitlyn Jenner, I'd be blown because they, re- yeah, they go crazy. They, they go, go crazy. hard. But like, I still like, I don't know, bro. I don't think it's as offensive because also like Caitlyn Jenner <laughs> is, um, I mean, she's done a lot of controversial shit to make people dislike her. I have no Not clue. because she is like transsexual or anything, um, but because she did a bunch of political shit on social media that was not very well liked or supported. I have no clue. So I think that might be why they're making fun of her because her general public perception right now is like not amazing. <laughs> so it's I, like I learned about things through South Park. People probably aren't that offended by it. You know, that's that's probably much more t- tame. They're like, oh, we'll just. Make fun of someone who everyone already hates, you know? Gotcha. Instead of like back then, they would just make fun of a whole category of people. Oh, yeah. You know? Okay. I see what you're saying now. When you're saying how it was more offensive back then. Yeah. I get what you're saying in those terms, but I'm just saying like, I feel like that. Do you watch South Park? Not this intense. Oh. I can't break down season by oh. season. There. It's, it's how one of the best. I, I grew up with it. I grew up with it. So, yeah. like, you know, eps- Fourth grade? Back they, they were like on a level with like Eminem back in middle school. Yeah. Like shock was, value, like, shock value. Yeah. Exactly. Damn, I was just thinking about Eminem the other yeah. day. Like, damn, middle was school, crazy. I was listening to Lil Wayne, early, early Drake. And he knew about him before South anybody. Park. <laughs> you Dr- Drake? Yeah. It was a episode uh, for last episode. It was some <laughs> shit. How how early did you know? Two thousand seven, eight. It's because he was in oh. Toronto. I was in Buffalo. Yeah. Oh, this got, one's hitting. I just got Scooby Snack. Oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't want that. Oh, careful! I always put my tongue like halfway through my mouth when I'm smoking mm. in case I catch that. Oh, I kind of kind of like like a guard. <coughs> yeah. Dude, what are we talking about? <laughs> is the is the Gobcast still coming? Yes, I've been working on it. It's uh, so my apartment. I can't really like fit a studio in there. So I need to get an office, but nowhere wants to rent for me for less than a year. No one wants to yeah. lease to me um, for anything less than a year. So I'd have to break my lease, which just sucks. I'm moving out here soon anyways. Uh, so once we get the Fumo warehouse, I'm putting oh, a studio that's, that's in there. So it doesn't matter when I move out here because I still come out here all the time. You mm-hmm. know, um, Realistically, I can film whatever I need to for like the four or five days I'm out here and skedaddle, mm-hmm. you know? Um, so we're hoping to launch it soon but it's in the works Good. it's in the works um i have a guy in illinois who's local who can produce it for me but i don't know if i'm gonna do anything in illinois you know it's kind I of it, a, bro. I, we were telling you move out here that you're finally yeah. doing such a it's so dope to hear like you're actually come, everything you're gonna do is gonna do this mm-hmm Especially yeah, now that uh, you don't do hard drugs anymore. Because out here is the place to do hard drugs. And you're coming to LA as a oh, sober person. What hard a badass. drugs. <laughs> no, but you know what I'm saying? Like you're back home doing hard drugs. Usually so you, come you, to LA. So what you're up. implying is I'm coming ready to go. So you're coming sober and ready to crush <laughs> it. Tell no, me, dude. I'm fucking, sure. I'm fucking with you. I get what you're saying. It's sick I'm as scared hell. of shitless of Scooby Snacks right now. Do this. Put your tongue up while you smoke. Mm. It stops all of them. And I haven't got any. No, not your lips. Your tongue. So you can still... This one went... I'm scared. I, I closed my lips I all the you. way. You I closed my lips. I was, well, I got it smoked, did I oh, not? This one. What the fuck was that? A do smoke the, signal? What the... Do f- the joint where you don't have to hit it. What did you just do? Like, Let what? Me see. You never did this? What? Look. Ready? If you don't want to hit someone's joint, you go like this cover the bottom what the f- that works it works but- well like this wait so okay All between right. these fingers yeah close it <laughs> put the hand on the bottom oh and then hit it <laughs> <laughs> it's all- 
I'll do one finger down. Just give me a little more, a little more space in my knee. <laughs> I got smoke. I think <coughs> I don't know why you're not getting it so well. Oh, much. like this. This is just covering this hole. No, you're on the bottom, like on your on your knuckles. Like oh, this. just covering like here. Yeah, but <gasps> oh, yes, it's just to cover that this space. See? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, I can see the cherry light up and everything. Like, um, you're gonna make a tutorial on this show. I mean, it Holy works shit. so well, especially if you have a little joint mm. and you're with hella homies, it's so much easier. Yeah, try that shit. It works. Yeah, right here, Marty. Oh, God, don't get me trying <laughs> this shit. Yeah, you, you got it. I bet you got it better than everybody. Like, right back here, though, between these parts, not the front, this this part in the back. All right, All right close your All hand, right. put this hand like cupping it like this, and then. Look at that cherry burning. Oh, my. It's too much. Dude, it's too much. Yeah, it hits like a little bump. Yeah, it yeah. does rip yeah. like a, a yeah. dry Almost like a, yeah, like a bubbler. Yeah. Exactly. Fucking dry bubbler. I will never wear a fucking beanie. Oh, I honestly, I'm kind of scared of it, bro. Like, oh God. I mean, hate it. God damn it. You'd be I never right. thought I'd see the day. Oh. You'd be right. You got to drive. Faded. Yeah, I'm not driving. You'd be all right. Yeah, wait, am I driving? No. I'll drive. Don't worry. I'll drive your car. No, it's not. I'm gonna win. Oh, that's what I was gonna say earlier. The first time you came here, mm -hmm. you said something that went, dude, no, you can't do that. Like, so actually the other day when I got here, I reversed into some it was like some beamer or some Mercedes. I was like, fuck that. I'm like, you wait. You go, no, I left. I'm like, dude, you can't do that. One day you're gonna get a sick car and someone's gonna do that to you. And it did happen to me. That's it why did, I'm it bringing it. It did happen to me, yeah. I, I saw it. You just got the shit rap. Happens. You yeah. just got the new car. Yeah. It's been wrapped for a couple months. Someone hit me at a bar. Um, it's not enough to file an insurance claim. No, over. but just looking at it, it's like, yeah. What kind of motherfucker does this? So oh. Oh. I'm dropping it off to get <laughs> fixed uh, when I get back. It's not going to cost me that much. No, it's just a pe one little piece. It didn't even damage the paint below it, just the wrap. I want to know how that happened. How do they touch you just enough to scrape paint but not touch the body? So the white paint that's there is actually theirs like they yeah, their car. a lot of it bro mm. like if you go up close and look it's like chunky and shit the fact that your car didn't dent is crazy to me yeah when i saw the first thing i thought was oh man it's for the time that you talked about on the show <laughs> yep it has to be from that time it is it's karma things always come back they should happen always should come happen back. yeah that sucks man yeah it really does suck but the last time you were here, you said, I'm about to go drop my car off with the wrap right when I get home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now when you're like, oh. Oh, I'm so, I'm so blown about it getting hit. But, you know, it could have been a lot worse. And Of the course. The day, it's the I mean, easiest mm -hmm. thing you could fix. It's just quick, yeah. quick Was the wrap a nightmare going on? Like, do you have to keep taking it back for bubbles and shit? No, like it was perfect. Nice. No, my guy wrapped it. Um, and I've, I've never had to take it back. I've never needed any extra work. I paid three grand for it. Um. All said and done, I think I paid a good price. Yeah, you know? um, and he he fucking killed it, bro. He wrote Goblin on my fenders. I saw it. Like he it's fucking. Like smoked. I didn't even ask for that. It's little. It's I smoked. didn't. Yeah, I didn't ask for it. He was. He put it in. He was like, "Do you think this is cool?" I was like, Could you imagine if you're like, "No"? I was like, "Bro, that's sick as fuck, dude." I'm scared of this. Oh. I'll hit it. Yeah, you know what? You yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yo, I'm fucking extremely high and eating nothing. Yeah, yeah I'm super oh, faded. My God. <laughs> Uh, wow. My car gets sold tomorrow, I think. The blue Shit. one's gone. Finally. Do you have the Maybach? No, it's supposed to be here this week, these fuckers. Oh. Still waiting, dude. I'm not going to say anything. But. It's your car. You should say something. December 2nd. He's like, it got here to the port. It's in Long Beach sitting. And I go, okay. Can I come and get it? <laughs> and he goes, no, we'll have to get it released. And I go, oh, because he's always from another country. You have to release it. I go, cool. January 2nd came right before the, the TED Talk. I'm like, I don't care about the car. I'm studying TED Talk. And I was like, January 15th. I'm like, where's the car? And he goes, sorry. You know, it's at the port. It takes a long time. They he, The guy has like 12 Lambos that he ordered for his store. And he's like, I'm waiting on this. I'm like, oh, God. You're waiting just. Okay, your yeah. worse is worse than mine. He's fine. Way worse than mine. <laughs> I just want to drive it. You're trying to sell and get your money back. That mm. sucks. February 2nd. I'm like, it's been two months. What's going on here, guys? The guy, Jung, calls his guy the other day, and he goes, hey, what's up? He goes, oh, so it's about to get to the port. I go, what did you just say? 
He goes, yeah, it's supposed to be San Francisco. I go, you told me it landed in Long Beach already. You lying motherfucker. Mm. Oh, my God. But I'm getting God. it at Sticker. That's why they're like, I think they're trying to drag it on to see if I just back out of it so they can go sell it for hell lot more. Because I'm getting it at Sticker. And I'm not supposed to. It's just because it's friend. So do you think? I think it's uh, there. I think it's there. And I think they're fucking with me. I got to be honest. I so hope, what, I hope what are you? What are you going to do? If you see it, then if, my bad. What are you going to do if they're actually fucking with you, though? Like, you should sue them. I can't sue. I haven't been down payment. You should just rob the dealership. <laughs> bro, mask up. Dude, I'll go guys. with you, bro. Mask up. Damn, this fool's ready to go. He's trying to get cars, yeah, Instagram want... names. He was ready to shoot for some shit. I want. What's he going to do for the car, let alone the Instagram name? We'll, we'll chop it up. We'll sell it <laughs> on the internet. The car? Facebook marketplace. Yeah. I want the car. We'll scam someone. It's worth way more in pieces. <laughs> so you talk about people. We'll chop it up. No, the car. We'll you know rip the doors off, sell yeah. the doors on on Facebook marketplace. You know, Bubba Biggs out. Yeah, he really is <laughs> Bubba Biggs. <laughs> He's slipping into the character. So yeah, that's what's going on, man. And Rosie's car got hit, rear-ended. Some no guy rear ended She's fine, but we're still waiting on her car. So right now we're about to be carless. Bro. So crazy. No wit. That's some real rich man, poor man shit. Dude, Waiting on your Maybach That's no why car. I've been saving my <laughs> no Kia. Car. I haven't sold oh. it yet. Because I'll I get want a rental. that old little get a beater. Rental. Just for when like. You know, well, I moved. Mm-hmm. and it's You'll see. I don't want to have a car always in front of my shit. Nah, my third never, car. You never, know? never. You'll see. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so it's about to be carless in my in my house right now. It's so weird. Yeah. yeah I'm just waiting. That's crazy. Are you getting a... Uh, like a uh, rental for while your car's getting fixed or no? Yeah, it, if this takes forever, dude. Well, yeah. Rosie has her rental, but they've had Rosie's truck forever. Yeah, it's been like a month. Yeah, they said it should be done this week. Oh, well, hope I hope. Oh no, I'm thinking yeah. of a windshield. You'll see. Oh yeah, because the windshield I waited for four months. And it was about to be here in like three days, and then the guy rear-ended her. <laughs> so now I still don't have a window. It was brand new. They didn't have windshields yet. That's so fucked. <laughs> That's some bullshit. Like your car's new, no windshields yet. <laughs> Couldn't you be prepared? Yeah, well, how? How'd they make the car then? What do you mean? Thank you. You got windshields. Thank you. They're around. Hey, what do you Thank you. Yeah, they have to be around, dude. How'd you make the fucking wind? Thank you. Like, there's no way they don't have windshields. They must exist. It's glass. Someone is able to make them. Someone is able to give us check marks. Mm-hmm. Someone was able to <laughs> stop deleting us. All of these things are a button, mm-hmm. a setting on the iPhone. I know Preach, it. Preach, man. And one says, Goblin, fuck off. Thomas, fuck off. <laughs> Preach. For real, that's how I feel lately. But you know what? It's okay because what are we doing today? We're at work essentially, and this is fun. We I'm got to smoke a donut up. at work, and we're about to oh, we're about I'm to be like real high because you're going to my house. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. I have I'm ready. So much hash. It's it's unbearable. I've been get. I'm, oh it's my god, unbearable. You have that much hash. <laughs> yes, there's so much hash at the house. Take the rest yeah. of that. There's nice. so much hash at the house, dude. Wow. Just. Not saying like, damn, I got hit. People have been giving like, yo, check out this gram. Check out. The-. But I, I look. It's just been stacking moved. up. Yeah, because I moved and mm-hmm. I collect, you know, I unwrapped everything. Uh-huh. I'm like, what the fuck? So I've been giving all my homies like, yo, take a jar. Take a jar. Take a jar. I'm never going to smoke all of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I will, but not before it starts oxidizing and turning a little dark. Mm-hmm. And then it's not great anymore. Yeah. You know? So I oh, figured let's dude. just spread it around. So I have some mm-hmm. hash for you too. I mean, giving everybody a little jar. I was like, I should have brought some today. I fucked up. Fuck. But anyway, besides that, let's get high as hell. I'm just got. I just woke up. I don't know what happened. I was so high a minute ago. I'm still Mm -hmm. faded. Now I feel like it's a big week. What just happened? This is our first time, really, that we're missing the premiere. Oh yeah, we have a premiere back in next week. After this, we got La Russell coming on. Yep. Mm. Excited for that. Followed by Anali Chapa. Yep. Chapa coming on. So it's about to be a big run it's for about March. To be fun. And I'll eat Chapa. That's going to be interesting. Yeah. We had to get a uh, the early Goblin episode because everybody keeps, bu- yo, you have no idea. What people ask for the next one of your episodes in the fucking chat of your Bro, episodes. They ask Come me on, dude, every day. I tell them I bring up L.A. They're like, that means a Yola episode is dropping. I don't even say I'm going to L.A. I'll just say the word L.A. I'll just be like, you know, oh, like, I might go to L.A. in the future. And they're like, your episode when? Yeah. <laughs> no, I feel, I, I get it. But it's more like, bro, chill. Yeah, people like spam it. You don't live here. Like, yeah. I, they know that, that you don't live here. Yeah. People ask me every yes. day. Yes. 
every fucking and day. And even even if I did, I'm not like a host of this podcast. Like, yeah, I'm gonna bro. come on like, every every week. Yeah. I'll be there every week. We just do five episodes in a row that are just me. Like I'm the guest. Oh my god, Andy sorry. Richter. We just get him a little chair, like on Conan, and he just I'll comes in and says, car. "I I've done that, done that joke before." <laughs> Sits back. He's just oh, shit. That's not even a horrible idea. Yeah, actually, that would be kind of chill. Mm-hmm. That's actually kind of kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we could definitely do stuff like that. We could totally. That do would stuff be like interesting. That. Um. So real quick, you get deleted off TikTok, like I get deleted on Instagram. Bro, I've been deleted like five times. What is your TikTok right now? Gobby and, talk. Oh. Okay, just in case that's gone, can people go to your YouTube and click like your link for TikTok? Yes, yes, okay. I have links for all my socials. So what is your YouTube, YouTube channel for everyone? It's just Goblin. G-O-B-L-I-N. Yep, go on YouTube, type in Goblin on the first result, or it's YouTube.com slash the G-B-L-N. Okay, so if you see your your YouTube, go, you know where it says videos, community, playlists, click the one that says about. I have to explain this. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. do it all the time. Click about. And it'll show every link to all his socials. Mm-hmm. So your Twitter, your Instagram. Because mm-hmm. your Instagram is the GBLN right now also yes. right now. Yes. I, I tag you all the time. And I'm like, wait. I get banned six all the of time. Them yes. Pop and up, there's dude. fakes everywhere. And, I can't. and I'm not sure. They do a good job. Yeah, I can't. Because you can't click them and then look at the profile while you're tagging fools. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. I'll be tagging the wrong thing. You got to redo it. You got to redo it. Yeah. yeah. So Twitter, you go hard as hell. You still post on Twitter a lot. Mm-hmm. What's your Twitter? The Goblin. With One of my ends. favorite Twitters. See? With three ends, Dude, listen. I get it. I get it. It sucks, but it's like, <laughs> that's why I want to say it. I get it. banned on everything. Yeah, I want to say it out loud. I get banned on everything. So, your Twitch. GBLN420. Oh, my God. See? It's just like me. I'm like, oh, no. That's underscore, underscore. Not dot. dot. You're streaming like three times a week, right? More than that. Yeah. More than that. I've been streaming like almost every day. I can't wait till we go I, back to a um, spot and you show me what I'm doing wrong. Oh, I got you. Because I know there's some button I just can press. It goes you, working. Mm-hmm. I fucking got you. Don't you worry. I stream um almost every day. Um, I stream not that long, like two three hours. You know? Damn, that's not a long time. It's yeah, a part time I mean, job. I go live. I I make sure I put in put in my time. You know, I think it's fun. Streaming is fun as hell. Talk and, to people, bro. I'm gonna tell you right now. The amount of money that Twitch will pay you to run more ads on your channel, not more. You can even pick the basic amount, the normal amount they're going to run, and you get an incentive for it, which is three minutes of ads per hour, which is not bad. No, not right? at all. That's 95% content, right? You can also pick six minutes per hour, which is the highest one, which is, you know, a little up there, I think. Yeah. But um, regular TV. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty. Well, no. Isn't regular TV more? I have no idea. I think regular TV is definitely it's more. It's like every five to eight minutes is a real commercial. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, so you um, get paid more? Yes. So what you're telling me as he goes, yes. I go three. I, I pick <laughs> three. No, I am a good person. Mm-hmm. I pick three. I, I try not to crank him up, but even at three, bro, they give you ad incentives when you start streaming consistently that are a good amount of money. Like for a while, I didn't stream that much. This past like month, I made it like a New Year's kind of thing. I was like, you know what? I'm going to stream a fuckload this year on Twitch. Um, so the first month of the year, they offered me like $150 to stream the three minutes. This month, they offered me like 700 something. Just to have the ads on? Three minutes, yeah. Wow. Per hour, yeah. Crazy. Crazy. That's just an extra bonus? Every time on you top stream? Of your Twitch? Yeah. Nice. Yes. Bro. Yeah. Crazy. Makes crazy. it worth it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes it completely worth it. <laughs> yeah, crazy shit, crazy shit. That's why so many people are like, "I'm streaming." I don't know if I'm allowed That's to talk dumb. about that. Actually, now that I think about it, so maybe we'll bleep the bleep the exact amount. Yeah, we'll maybe bleep, bleep, bleep the, the numbers. How many bleep subs numbers. you got on there? I have like nineteen hundred, about. So nice, good amount. So I pays your rent, right? Oh yeah, I pay all my bills with Twitch. Yes. But. See, and that's one stream. Mm-hmm. There's so many. I'm streaming of income. Well, not, not one stream. No, no streams of stream. income. That's oh, one stream yeah, of income yes, paying yes. your rent and your bills. Mm-hmm. See, this is why I feel like when people are out well, there, I, I don't do consistently this, do have it. that, bro. I just got that this past month, and now I can pay my bills. <laughs> oh, I don't gosh. consistently no. have that amount. It's just been a crazy ass month because I, because I didn't stream consistently. A lot? Yeah, now that I stream consistently, I got a, like a crazy amount of subs, but before. But when you make it a job and you actually put yeah, time when in. you put the work in, bro, it's it's nuts, it's nuts, and I think it's a lot 
more fun to stream on than YouTube because you can do more shit with your chat. Like you can like put up polls and and bets and like interact with people and they have rewards they can redeem and they can watch ad free just by being a sub, you know, and they get more incentives and like emotes for being a sub. Like, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's cooler. Like, I think it's, it's more, more interactive. It seems like, yeah, it's more fun for the viewer. I feel like to stream on, um, or to, to like be on Twitch, you know, I got homies that watch that. Like people used to watch yeah, YouTube, bro. I can't, I can't do it. I don't watch Twitch. I can't. It's too high. <laughs> like, it's too hectic for me. It's like being in a discord. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck is going trying on. Trying to read all there, the chat. Dude. I like can't do it. Reading it for 20 minutes. My head hurts. I can't mm -hmm. do it, dude. That's too much. But I, I like mean, doing, I like streaming. Yeah, but I can't stream, sit there and watch streaming, hell of streams. Streaming on Twitch is lit. YouTube needs to like step their shit up. Maybe they will. I hope. Doing eight balls and bumps. Get in there, Neil. Get is in his there, name's Neil. Neil? Yeah, his name's Neil, Neil Patrick Harris. Oh my god, that'd be so sick. Neil, do some blow and fix the website, please, please, <laughs> please. That'd be so please, tight, bro. See, the craziest thing is, I hope he's really cool because we are saying that on the platform that we're talking about. So yeah, that'd be awesome if he didn't care. That'd be super cool. He'll be chill. He'll be chill. I think Neil is chill. <laughs> he's just guessing. <laughs> no, I think I think he's chill. Before we leave this studio, I gotta get you the gummy sharks on the other side of this wall. The sours. All I don't right. know why I looked at the wall. I mean, it's, on the other side of the wall. Yeah, no, I, I got the, the mangoes wall. back. They're right there too. Yeah. Oh, those ones are bomb. I gotta get you the new ones. They're they're here. <laughs> but um, all right, let's do this, man. That was fun. Hell we yeah! Really, just great episode. Spoke. Mm -hmm. We just yeah we did it just speak. A lot of isn't that every podcast? No <laughs> no sometimes you like so let me bring up my topic. This one I I think I looked this way a few times got concussed from the lighter <laughs> yeah and yeah that was pretty much uh -huh. it. Wow that lighter hit really fucked you. That's up. what this dent is. See this little thing? Oh. That was gas chicken box car when I was a baby. Lighter Could you hit. imagine if I played that? I was like no nah, damn hostile work <laughs> environment. I don't know what I can do. Um, all right, cool. Yeah, so everybody, go follow Goblin on all of his socials. I hope yeah, that yeah, hope the TikTok's one of still them. there. Hope you guys got one of them. All right. Do you have a website? Goblin420.com, and all my social links are at the top. Goblin so, or the Goblin? Goblin420.com. Goblin420.com, and that has every social link that's active. Yep. There. So don't get scammed. And my merch is on there. That's there. just my website. Your new so. merch that you posted looks sick. Yeah. I got a crazy Ooh, designer, I like, bro. It looks like the front of Goosebumps. Yeah, the I Goosebumps know. Scary. So scary. I, uh, I hired smart. viewers for my next merch drop. I, smart. Uh, put out in a video. I said, email me. Some kids sent me the stupidest shit I've ever seen. Um, and then some oh, kids. Oh, yeah. Like one guy literally, dude, he took a picture of a uh, like a plug, like an outlet. Like, you know, the shit you plug into the wall. And just put it on a hoodie, like really tiny, like really small, like right here. Not like, you know, embroidered or anything, just like a little <laughs> picture. And it wasn't like cropped out correctly. So there was little like specks around it of like where he didn't crop the picture right and like edit it. Um, and he sent me that and he was like, yeah, I'll work for $50. Honestly, I'm just trying to support my Coke habit, bro. I hope you hit me back. Thank you. <laughs> so I got shit like that. But also I got hit up by some really talented people who... We're definitely uh, worth it. Definitely worth it. Yeah, definitely killing it, dude. I mean, the next merch drop is probably gonna be my best yet. So that's the best that you could say. That's the the yeah. level you always want to say. Like, I don't know how, but this one's better than the last. Yeah, bro. Five I mean, years later, like, the tweet I put out for the last uh, the last shirt has like a thousand likes already. People, dude, are, that shirt looks. People are waiting super for it. If it's the one with the with the, the Goblin World. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Looks, yeah it's so sorry. It looks like a Goosebumps border. Yeah, they used to do like Night and Terror Tower or some crazy shit. I love it. Yeah, it it's looks fucking sick. dope. Uh, fucking yeah, we're dope. looking for the next artist right now for Push Trees. It's like it's ever la it's ever changing. I feel like fools fall off and they just don't want to work. Or I just want to find somebody I can always depend on for art. Yeah. Like, that's where you're at right 100%, now, too. So yeah. I feel it, it never dude. stops. It never <laughs> stops, man. I hope that I can keep working with these people because I have, so, so far, I have three designers that I've hired. I'm not trying to drop, like, you know, a million different products or anything, but I'm trying to get, like, two designs from each so I can drop one from each this drop and then maybe, like, save some for mm -hmm. the future. Um, and... I have like very different styles, but the only thing I told them, I never gave them any instructions for like ideas. I just said, make it related to drugs or my content or goblins, like the creatures, you know? Yeah. Um, that's it. But I figured since they were viewers, they would be able to do that better than if I just got some random artist and was like, yeah, of course, 
make a fucking goblin related thing because they're just going to draw a picture of a goblin. Yeah. You know, like, fuck that. Um, yeah, I think all of them have honestly killed it. Like, uh, one of the guys, uh, I tweeted another one today too. I don't know if you saw the one I tweeted earlier today. Oh, sure. Um, the graffiti looking one? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Oh, you just showed me it. Yeah. 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 That's the, uh, so that's a different designer. I hired that guy to do some shit and he like draws his own, uh, like designs and shit and like colors them himself, which is sick. Sick. So, yeah, I'm high for it. Good shit. So, goblin420.com. Yes, sir. For everything. Always yes. going to be available there. We ship everything very quick. There's one guy who placed an order for like five shirts. He got his order two days later. Good. Oh, we're quick. Good. We're quick if you US, USPS or FedEx does their actual job, yep. shit gets there on time. Yep. I'll, I'll ship something within two days and the fools will be yelling at me like it's been 14 days. Like, yep. How? Yep. How is this mm. happening? That was only one guy, though. That's not normal. So see, that's I. I feel you, dude. <laughs> but no matter you, what, you, <laughs> no matter what, you can't I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I was like, did he really get his shit that early? Like, <laughs> damn, dude, that it was the. It was definitely the Ross joint. It's got me slow. slow yeah, I'm dumb right as now. fuck right yeah, now. I, I can't lie. Thought I was awake. I'm not. I'm, I'm totally brain awake. dead right now, yeah. dude. Um. So. Thank oh you so my. much for being here. Thank I know you for you're having me. Brain dead, but we're about to go take a lot of dabs. Oh, I know. We're gonna get yeah. stupider. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna I'm take ready. a lot of dabs. I'm we, ready. We're not gonna smoke in the car whatsoever because there's no car to. Of course, there's no car to right. That's okay. Here, Marty, <laughs> you confuse me. For I, know, I know. I know. Smoking in the car is wrong. It's so. te it's terrible, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, from Goblin Nick, from Marty thank you guys. and I. Appreciate you, sir. Thank you guys thank so you much for having for being me. Here. It's been a blast. Do you have anything else you wanted to add? This was fun. This is a legendary way to break in the new set here. Feels good. Of course. Good. Yeah, yeah, we had to smoke it I out. I love this set. This shit is it's sick, dope. huh? Yeah, this is I'll, crazy. We'll, we'll show you the rest of it. It just looks, it looks cool. Just, just, it's different. Yeah. You know what it's like walking in our warehouse, like, hey, it's already boxed. Yeah. It's different. It's a different yeah. vibe, man. It's it, more it's, professional. Like, it is yo, professional. Yeah, I like it. We're done. And that's it. So we're belligerent, like, let's get food. <laughs> like, we, we still get fucked up in here a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we oh. Definitely. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Thank you go check out me. goblin420.com. Marty, thank you so much for being here. For everyone driving, please be safe, smoke free, hang out in traffic. Please be careful. LA is flooded and snowing. Be safe out there. All right. All right. It's Normal snowing shit. out here. Normal guys, be Chicago. careful. Yeah, but not sunny california i can't believe you guys struggle with it so hard dude, i don't care it's just tired. wild people <laughs> cannot drive i know bro Let on the highway today water. oh my god i'm from the central valley it rains heavy i don't know what it's like to drive it's just water dude. when it's real puddled don't hit that shit that fast my uber You're driver hydroplane could yeah. not hang dude my Uber driver could not hang. Well, that's because there was, was water on his tires. Yeah, there was a slight amount of water on his slick ass tires. I don't know what it is, dude, it but over with. be safe out there. We're all here talking shit. <laughs> be safe out there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the Dope as Usual podcast. Have a dope ass day. I will never wear a damn Ever. beanie again. Thanks for watching the podcast. If you thought this was dope, you'll like this episode too. And don't forget, the best way to support the show, tell a homie.